Dap. Because there's a actors, T on it. Actors really enunciate their words. Dap. Yep. We had a good time, just you and I, huh? We did, man. You guys held the fort down. Feel, daddy was gone. Daddy was Daddy was down with some... Down. some no, uh, no, we got a few sickness. emails complaining about your sports knowledge. Uh, called Tyree Kill. He thought he played for Arizona, yeah, and he was a DB. Yeah. Now, <laughs> hey, he's the one that said it. I, I didn't say anything. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. said it. Yeah. New rule when daddy's gone. Yeah. We don't talk sports. No no football? No, no sports yeah. in general. I don't want... Any, yeah. it's you know you don't know this stuff. It's too bad you're not around when I'm breaking down fights. Oh, no. Yeah. And he, he didn't break down I'm, any fights. And I'm physically, you I'm physically getting up and yeah, showing sure. people stuff. You're like, I would have... Well, mm-hmm. and then when I go like this, this is this is my favorite shit to do. And I, I do it when only people who don't know fighting, I go, now you see how he's winning that corner? See how his, his foot is stepping around his foot? You always want to... I'd physically throw up. I know. Yeah, but, you try to... Yeah, you, but you people go, him kick my and ass. And I say stuff like this, I go, I go, it's not the punching, it's where you're punching from. Sure. So watch how... And They eat it up, though. They eat, they eat it, it the up. fuck up. Well, I know my it. shit. No. Then compared to them, you're Bruce Lee, uh-huh. and a lot of people think I'm a black belt in jujitsu. Because okay. what happens is people well, go, uh, "I knew it was you." I was looking for the cauliflower ear, but uh, and I was like, "I think you have." And I go, I go, "Well, it's a little bit here from from wrestling, it's a little bit there." Who who was Wait, I? When people really think you're a black belt? Nah, not many. Well, hey, who I'm a black belt I, in taekwondo. Nah, that never happened. Right. Hey, hey, great, we had a great hey. Ah! <laughs> we had you ruined it with the sport talk. Listen. Hey, who was I with the? I was at the I was at the improv the other night. I forget what comic it was, and he goes, "Oh, it's Dalia." He goes, "Dude, your ears are still like that." I go, "What?" Literally before I go on stage, I had to bring him up right before I go on. He goes, "Your ear, your ears, you, you still keep your ears like that?" I go, "I keep well, them that way." Yeah. Well, yeah. What would I do, dude? He goes, "Well, can't you just fucking change it back once you stop? Like, doesn't it go down?" I go. God damn, no, dude. <laughs> no. I, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. I said, I guess I could have a surgery and yeah. like major scrape surgery. it out, like a major surgery. Speaking of scraping, I it said, out. is it that big of a deal? He goes, kind of. So, so speaking of scraping things out, I went to the dentist this morning. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know about you, I'm not a, I'm not a big dentist goer. You understand? Like, I never go to the dentist oh. unless unless something breaks. Or, be, yeah. So level five tear. So she looked at my chart. And she goes. 2018 yeah, was the bitch. last time you had a screening. I go, oh, a cleaning. I go, yeah. Oh, she I goes, beat that. Oh my god. She she goes, that's too. I she kept checking it to make sure. She goes, you sure? I go, no, I just don't come. And they had to get in there and give me a. Clean. You guys don't go to the dentist? No. Now nah, we're both pretty. No, nice here's my thing. Is uh, <laughs> this is my thing? This is our thing, right? I don't yeah. like the dentist. I went in 2014. She goes. And I, I didn't go probably <laughs> several years before that. She goes, oh, wow. She goes, now, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you for teeth, you're very gifted. Like, for you not going, and soon I went, oh, you fucked up. I'm never coming That's back. Because I, I haven't been in 10 years. So she said the and same. You told me Every my time teeth. I would get the same thing. You have the such healthy gums runs Say in my less, family. Bitch. That's all I got to hear. Say less, bitch. Now I'm not I'm coming, coming back. never coming in. Really? But now here's I the freak thing. Out. I freak out. I, I have to go. Really? Yeah. Well, I have to get a cleaning. That's I have smart. To do, I, have to, I have to. That's smart. I, I can't not go to the dentist. Yeah. That's crazy that y'all yeah. do that. Oh, six years. Seven years? Se- uh, I know. I, I get that beat. Mine, 10, 15. But the thing is, <laughs> you know what the thing is? My girl goes and takes the kids like monthly. And she goes, why don't you go? I go, nah, I got something this morning. She goes, what do you have? I go, stuff. I never go. But never. the thing is, <laughs> is, but now daddy, I think, has two cavities up top here. Sure, they, sure you and do. And the bottoms. Oh, I promise The tops and bottoms. I promise. But you know what, though? Mm. You know what, though? Mm. I've had sugar in three weeks because of it. Because oh. because it hurts so bad if I eat sugar. My uh-huh. teeth hurt so bad. Oh, you guys. I just went, ah, I'm not eating sugar anymore. Your boy's losing weight. That's good. So my girl goes, you have cavities. Clearly, I go, I do. <laughs> but daddy's not eating sugar anymore. Well, this, so it's this pros and cons. Now, here's the thing about that. It only gets worse, and it'll get right into the bone. So what we have to get a root canal. Yeah, now Bring that, it. that you yeah. don't want. Well, that, I'm only you don't want one. So we we gotta make it. A, the root, gotta make canals, it count. root canals can be bad for your heart. Believe it or not, some of that stuff really? can be bad. Yeah, it's been a bacteria. Yeah, I'm I'm a, a, I've had a root canal. I handled it pretty. Fine. Yeah, you want to be careful. I'm gonna roll the, the dice with canal. it. I'm gonna roll the dice with it because the thing yeah, is, I'm losing I weight. Understand. Haven't touched sugar. My body is re. I cannot see sugar without being like, oh, get it away. Because it hurts your teeth. Yeah. So my you, body's like, oh. So when you eat a, a sh- you know me, I love sugar. Oh yeah. Daddy. yeah. So if you eat a sugar, sugar baby. it hurts. I'm a sugar baby. When you drink yeah, it's water, like it doesn't sensitive. Matter? No, if, and that's what I told my girl. I said I'm only gonna make a change if when I start eating like regular food, it starts hurting. Till then, it's yeah. 
Roll the wheels the fall off. Y'all well, tripping. Daddy, I'll get gold dice. fronts before I do a root canal. Well, he looked at me. He goes, "Now, now, you got some cracks. You know, your two, the two back teeth are just you grind your yeah, you're teeth." Sixty. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> 50, yeah. 54, 54, yeah. 54. Yeah, but you know, like you got barnacles on your. But I got. I wore. My, I wear my teeth hard. Dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, these chompers been through some shit. Yeah. Man. Now you guys grew up in the United States where you had fluoride in the water system. I grew up overseas where there was no fluoride. So what happened, that believe it or not, it. is that your teeth just they can. They get Most yellow. people lost all their teeth before they were. Oh, yeah. my, my grandma, you know, she grew up in England, and the, she was around the days when there was just no dentistry. They didn't give a fuck. So yeah. she lost her teeth. I think she said ha lost all her teeth at like eighteen. Yeah, people, she's had fake like, teeth well, like since, what? Yeah, like since eighteen. Yeah, that was very common. In most of the world, you'd see people who just lost their uh, like a whole row of teeth. She just pulled teeth. You out. don't have any wisdom teeth. I don't think so. I think they got. I pulled. do, and that's why my teeth are slowly like making a V. It's oh, pretty yeah. cool. Does it? Does it? Does it hurt? No, sure. because that's what happened to me. Like mine were like pushing, and it like would hurt real age? bad. Uh, when I was like twenty six is when it really started to pop, and I had to get them out. I got them out. See, at my, 20, yeah, mine are making my teeth like push to the front, ahead, like a that. Travis Scott concert. Yeah, give me, yeah smile. Like, give him, show him the show. There's a the lot top. of there's a real a lot of serious uneven. No, my, so my bottom teeth are like an English bulldog. Yeah, but <laughs> your front teeth are not winning any awards, Baba. Compared to yours, they're not winning any. Compared to yours, not, yours no, his, his are pretty straight. Yours, yours yeah, are pretty straight. I got straight teeth. You got good teeth, dude. He wore Invisalign at fifty. Well, you know what? Wait, you wore Invisalign at fifty two. Yeah, but you know what? But you won't go to the dentist. You wear Invisalign. I didn't stick with it, and so they looked at my teeth and they went, "Cause look at this." Dude, do you remember when you would they come in with went, Invisalign and you'd be like, how's everybody's steak going? <laughs> I'm like, well, you can't. Can you take those out? You remember that? And that you'd be like, problem. what's up, for Because this is, I'm in Bray this weekend. Come see me. Remember that? It's so fucking I'm dumb. at the club, comedy club. And you're like, Try I'm sorry, everybody. Bill, Bill Burr was going on stage and he had his Invisalign in. And he goes, I'm just going to fucking go on. I go, you're going to go perform no like way. that? No way. No way. I'd have to take it off. Plus, I was doing the Goldbergs, so I'd have to take it off. I could never wear it. You have to wear it all day. I thought you to wear it at night. night. You got to do it all of it. And I'd be like, fuck all this. It would hurt it's too much really of a bad. Why don't you just get braces then? I've always said that. I might go Metal back. braces. Get braces? I might Metal. go back to Invisalign. Fuck it. Go to, no. No, go to braces. Because braces work the best. They you can't, can't never take them off. I know, yeah. Now hey, I is there anything more. more depressing than a guy over 40 with metal braces? Oh, my God. Ain't that's nothing wrong with that. Better be a life a coach. serial killer. What? Because yeah. oh, yeah. they want straight teeth? If you ask Dude, if, I, if a grown man comes at me with braces, those, those ones you wear in middle school, uh -huh. I'm rolling my window up and yeah. locking my door and driving yeah. away. And they have the rubber bands on them. Like, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> it's 2021. You can, you can see the And you got to clean. They gotta, yeah, oh, fuck disgusting. off. <laughs> fuck off. Chin, I heard you had a neck brace, dude. Where the fuck I is I brought it, it in oh, today. Bro, you yeah, it put in that, that shit dude, on. It's, I have it's, to wear it. It's got its own rolling machine. A rolling. I just brought this because I don't like carrying all this crap anymore. Oh, okay. okay. Thing in the world. But um, yeah, I got to pump it up. I'll do it for you guys you, later. You, you bounce back from that food poisoning right quick. That's a good thing about food poisoning. You lose some weight. Yeah. Now, Daddy was on death's doorstep <laughs> yeah, yeah. about two in the morning. That I, was like, I might have to go to the emergency room. That bad. Ooh. Yeah. That you know when you're throwing up and it's just like that dry hurl and you're just throwing up bile at that point? Ooh. Yeah. That's that. Daddy's on death's doorstep. That's that fucking bacteria. That, I got that, that IV and fully redeemed myself. Yeah. That's that aquatic bi bacteria. Ooh. But the IV felt great. You could just feel it. Yeah, it was up. nice. Yeah. I just hate when the IV guy talks to you. It's like, hey, I don't want to do a podcast, you know? Yeah. Well, just, my mother, just put the IV and get going. My, my mother got super sick and almost died once. And I said, what happened? She goes, I had food poisoning once. I said, what'd you do? Well, she was in Sicily and thought it was a good idea in Sicily there was to take the mussels. She's in the water. Smart. With a lemon. Eat them from the water? She's in the water with a lemon. And what you do is you take the mussels, you shuck them on the rocks in the seawater. And you eat them. Eat them. Uh, That's I'm what saying, she did. Hey, is your mom an otter? Uh, and she was saying... <laughs> Your mom otter? Is you, I'm gonna ask again. Apparently, your mom otter? <laughs> apparently, she thought she was snotter. Your mom thought you were otter. She thought she was snotter, and she was eating. You must do it. Raw mussels. <laughs> Wait, say it again. You must do it. Well, well. Mom, what? Mom, mom can't do it. Now hold on. Careful now. Mom can't do it. Not careful now. That was a stupid thing to do. Must do it. Hold on. Is mom what? She took a loaf of bread down there by she the oat, she rocking back and eating. forth. Look at you. See people eating what? <laughs> Holy fuck, Chin! You don't need this, dude. <laughs> Chin, I do you need you it. Need, he says he does need it. I love that you're doing. Does that. it help, Chin? Yeah, I think it's actually helping a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Does it? It, it, it raises your neck up. <laughs> Poor guy. It actually pushes your head up. So yeah. It, yeah. It pulls. It's called the attraction. Oh, yeah. I, dude, I would like to take that. Did, for you, a spin. did you see the meme that that Chase dude made of you? No. 
With, it was all the rings? Yeah. <laughs> all like the African ladies? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does all yeah. the memes. Now, yeah. Chin, what doctor recommended this severe neck brace for Not your back? Not the doctors. It's people that say that you should try this before yeah. surgery. So oh, I don't know that. Didn't. Oh, oh yeah. so the internet told you to do this. Yeah, and oh, I trust yeah. the internet way more than the doctors. Doctors want me to do surgery so bad. Yeah. The way they were doing it, too, it's like... How, <laughs> how, how I love the way he turns his neck. How, how long are you going to do this, Chin? <laughs> forever. The answer is forever. I think I have to... It's like maybe a, you got to do it for three years. Maybe more now, but then later on I could do it less and less Maybe just often. do it when you record. I think it's a good idea, actually. Yeah. yeah I mean, because I'm not doing... I'm just... Yeah, I'm here. Do you do it around your this. girl? <laughs> yeah, man. How many times ah. a day do you do it? Could there be anything less sexy? A few sexy? times. A few times a day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not sexy, dude. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be healthy than, you know. Oh, um, yeah, dude. The health counts. Okay, what are we looking at, Brian? It's such, it's such, look, up, look up people it's eating muscles, raw muscles in, in the water. Yeah, it's dude. In yeah, bro. People from those regions yeah. do that because like, that's what they do. Because they can't have, they don't have money to buy tomatoes and shit. Don't do eating that. raw muscles in the water? Don't do that. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like these guys are? Yeah. There you go. It's kind of sad. Hey, B, 2021, thank God mental health is finally a thing. Because so, you know this, during the pandemic, everything's crazy right now. It's hectic. There's anxiety. But here's so many people are struggling right now. And they're not feeling like their normal self. But also, guys tend to not, they tend to think of mental health as, as sort of a weakness. Taboo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's what's great about it, being online. That's why you got to talk about it. Yeah, dude. dude. The more we can, talk about it, the more normalized And that's it where better health comes in. And dude, bottom it, line, you, therapy helps. It, dude, ther that's the bottom line. Therapy yeah. helps. It doesn't have to be sitting around talking about your feelings. So what is therapy exactly? It's whatever you want it to be, man. You can talk privately, all right? You can talk you, to a professional. That, uh, you know, you quit talking talk to your friends, family. Talk to a person yeah. who knows what's going Relationship on. Relationship issues, stress, Dude, anxiety. we're talking about professional online counseling, all right? You can talk on the phone, video, live chat sessions with your crazy? therapist. You can literally have video, phone. You're, it's like somebody's in the room with you. Dude, join the millions of people who are seeing what therapy is really about. See if it's for you because you are your greatest asset. And in 48 hours, you can be communicating with a therapist. I'm you, I swear by it, man. Hours. And this podcast, Firing the Kid, is brought to you by BetterHelp. All right, and you guys get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash fighter. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash fighter. Oh my God, dude. You know what? Uh, sometimes I can't sleep at night and I think to myself, how does LeBron James sleep? Calm. It really? That's it's what he called, uses? It's called the app Calm. What's if you want somebody to read you a bedtime story, if you want to hear nature, oh, you want man. to hear leaves Meditation. Rustling, oh, meditation. It quiets your brain. I have it on my phone. I use it all the time. My girl uses it all the time. It's a, It's all about mental fitness. Dude, it Calm really can is. help it's you train number. your brain so you sleep better, reduce stress, perform at your best, just like the King James. Yeah, it's the number one app for sleep and meditation. Dude, Bottom it's line. great. So if you head to calm.com slash fighter, that's C-A-L-M.com slash fighter, for a limited time, you get 40% off a Calm premium subscription. All right. Again, for limited time, the Fire Kid listeners can join the likes of LeBron James and using Calm get forty percent off. All right, a Calm premium subscription at it's Calm. It's about sleep, dude. If you don't take care of your sleep, then you—that's we're not even out of the blocks. You got to be sleeping. Dude, well. sleep so important. It's everything. I sleep it's like a deal. baby thanks to Calm. Get calm started get at Calm.com/slash/fighter. That's C-A-L-M.com/slash/fighter. Are you talking about the barefoot kids yeah. who have nothing else to eat? Yeah. Oh, they dive down there and get this. But shit. you can eat some raw stuff if you know. Your how mom to do can't. It. If you come from the Mom's sea doomed. and you and you know how to <laughs> do that stuff. Yeah. 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 Mom's doomed. Look, they're <laughs> dipping. Yeah, okay, your, good. Your mom can't do that, dude. No, she got chumped. I bet they are delicious if your stomach can, you know. It's like Mexicans and drinking the Mexico know, water. But also, if you know what muscles, you got to know certain shit. What time A of color. year? To eat. Yeah. You're in Sicily. Yeah, but go to a restaurant, Mama Kelly. Yeah, go to, go to a go, restaurant. Go. Don't be... She want to be one with the people. She, she's Italian. She's she's shit her pants. She's Sicilian. Bro, I was so sick. Trash can here on the shitter. I was like a bang bro no. girl. Dude, double penetration. Is that right? Double. Really? Double. Getting the devil out of your body. Dude. That's what it does. It's and I just knew, things. though. Hold it down for 24 hours, Daddy, and we're going to make it through this. Yeah. Yeah, you knew. Sick. Did the doctor... Did I, the you doctor know, I, showed up? Put an IV in? Yeah. But they, they put all sorts of like... They give you stuff for pain, electrolytes. Oh, yeah, they so give stop you. Stop the nausea. As well. Yeah, they give you. Yeah, yeah nausea medicine. Wow. They give you painkillers. I'm like, dude, how's this going? Come on, daddy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Really said, hype that thing. I up. got a lot of stuff running through my system anyway. Go ahead. Now it's you like cleanse yourself out though. Probably no nicotine. You didn't do anything. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, I'm an addict, so you gotta have nicotine. Even when you had food poisoning. Oh yeah. You don't every say. Morning, every morning. You how don't. Man? I'm throwing up anyways, dude. 
That's impressive as hell. You know what? This would be like really the first coffee I've had in a long time because coffee or like certain food, like I can't eat spicy. Thanks, dog. Thanks, meatball. I can't have like real spicy foods right now. Yeah. What do you got in that cup? This is whiskey. So whatever you have in your stomach, I'm told whiskey yeah. will burn it. Okay. Especially is that true? Yeah, Tiger Thick cures all illness. Is that what they say? Well, whiskey, by the way, when I you're mean, in, no, it, it does, when you're in a they country, used to use that back to, back when in you're the in day. a country oh, yeah. where the, the water and parasites, you you want to get you want to get some whiskey in your tummy or some just some spirits. So I would have to if I was Vodka. in that situation, I would have to do whiskey. Ooh, I, you'd I have would have to recommend. Relax yeah, whatever. Yeah, I have, to, I have to relax. Well, unless you want to shit your pants. I always drink hard liquor if I have if there's ice in my drink or whatever. I'll do a shot. Oh, for sure, because it, it'll equal it out, right? What do you mean? A lot of times, kill that bacteria. Oh, dude! You know what I want to talk about? I, I want to talk about on Monday. You got another kid coming this world. I got another kid coming this world now, and I'm coming up with names now. Now, Casey. Well, you know my boy Casey, who I love. I was thinking Casey, about maybe Casey, handsome devil. Yeah. And your son's gonna be smaller. Let's Mason, be real. Mason's gonna be smaller. <laughs> your, your son's gonna be smaller. Let's Ma think of small names. Ma Chip. <laughs> no. Chip. Dude, little Chip. <laughs> no. Chip. No. You know, little Chip. Little Chip, dude. Little Chip. Hey, little little Chip, come no, around. Think about man. football. No, because can I explain? Rudy, hold on. Rudy, her hey, family, Rudy. <laughs> her family, the men in her family, big boys, and that's fine. Yeah, Me my small. dad, my dad, big boy. Your dad's huge. Six, four, Your dad's bigger than me. So got, you think you and, think your and, son's gonna be a big boy? Well, I got big. You, I actually you, have big jeans. I take after mommy though, five two. Your mom's tiny, and so your sister's pretty small too. Uh no. Well, I guess for a girl, she's, she's like you're strong. about the same size. What is this, yeah, Chip? Big girl. You're a she's dwarf not. names. Dwarf. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> no, you're not gonna be a dwarf. I just know. I just find, <laughs> we might find something. <laughs> no, funny. but you know, you know what though? You know when people are like, oh, the baby's small. That you know, like Boston wasn't a big baby. Tiger wasn't a big baby. Yeah. It's the like when they get to a year, that's when you kind of know. Yeah. So everyone's like, oh my god, that baby. Was 12 pounds, eight ounces. None of that shit matters. No. It oh, matters it like not matter. six months into it if they're still tiny. <laughs> ankle biter. <laughs> uh, rug rat. Okay. Yeah, little, yeah, rug, little ankle biter. Bambino. No, what, I, what are I, you thinking I, here? Bambino? I, are we like, what? Was so Brendan even in the conversation? Have you ever met another Brendan? The problem with Brendan is people call him Brandon. Well, no, dude. That's why I'm trying to get more up. famous. Name another famous Brendan. Brendan, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Okay. Our, our careers are on a little bit of a different yeah, a little trajectory. Bit. He's still right killing now. it. He, uh, sort of. Don't he say, was. Don't say killing. Don't it, kill. Though. Define. I killing. like him very much. So there was this. He was uh, great in the Mummy. Um, that FX yeah, show. Of course, but there he did this superhero. Um, sure. He's yeah. put on a lot of weight, show. dude. Listen, I love Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Take it easy. So there was Brendan Shanahan, okay. captain of the Detroit Red Wings. He okay. retired. Mm -hmm. Name another one, not bro. Of, not a lot of Brendan's. No. Brendan Type Lemieux. in famous Brendan. Who? Brendan Lemieux plays for the Los Angeles Kings. Is his dad Mario Lemieux? <laughs> uh, Claude Lemieux. There you go. Famous. Yeah, Brendan. Uh, Brendan. Is that not in a running? <laughs> you didn't even think about it, dude. Well, it's just Brendan. Then you call him Bren. You no, know? you're Bren. He... Little Bren. Little Bren. Yeah. Little Bren. Uncle, your Uncle Brendan. Big Brendan's here. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> but I don't like Brian. Hey, that's that's you. And you want you? Are we thinking like? Are we thinking like unique names? Like you trying to go down my lane? Well, I'm trying to go. Trying down to go Tiger Boston, where it's very different. Yeah, something. Well, are we I trying like, to go? Are honestly, we, we trying like, to go normal. I like. Like we want Jeff, Dave, I want Frank, not Dave, Joe. No, I don't like those. Names. Billy. Nope. Billy's Robert. not bad. Billy's good. I like Billy. I like Especially Jack. Small. I like Billy. Billy. But you like Casey? He's not gonna be small. I like Jack. I like Billy. I like. You know what? I like Jack. I like Jack. I like Jack. It's a strong it's name. It's a strong name. It's original. Jack. You know what it is? It's original. It's American. I know it's American. And we need that right Jack now. Jack Callen? Dude, what you about Jack Callen? Like oh, I like Blue. Hey, I'm, I like Blue. I like Blue. Blue Your friend's Blue and he's I a badass. Know. I know. He looks weird though. Let's be honest. But he's a badass. Yeah, he looks weird though. Blue Lou. Blue what? You what? Say? I call him Blue Karate Count. Blue Karate Count. Why you got it? Why you got it at karate? Just because it's no, so blue, stupid. No, I, I like Blue. Blue's, Blue's dope. I'm just spitballing ideas here. Yeah. We want to get America back on the right track. Blue Jack? Tucker. Tucker's not Tucker. a bad name. Tucker? Tucker, Tucker Carlson Callen. Okay. <laughs> Tucker Jack. Not Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Callen. Callen. Not calling him Tucker Okay, Carlson. again. Tucker dude. Carlson. All right. All right. He's, he's, he's rolling. He's shooting I'm from the hip. Polarizing he's polarizing. What happens is they will be frowned upon. Carlson, and then everybody turns. In LA, him. that's going to be tough. Yeah. All right. Hannity. Hannity, Hannity Jack Callen. No. Hannity. A strong name. I know. No, I'm not doing that. All right. I'm do you name, know anyone I'm named Hannity? I figured actually. Yeah, I do. A guy in Fox. The front, oh. the, fr the front runner is it, Jack. The, no, Casey. the front runner from the name is Blue Kamala Harris. And yeah, yeah. Jack is Jack is strong. Jack's strong. I like my son's name is Finn Jack. I like those like simple names, man. 
Yeah. I was going to name my son Gus, but that's just a shitty name because you can't be a hero when you're Gus. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Make, you, make, you make him break the cycle. Yeah. Gus, has your son? I don't like has Gus. your son? He's a little young. Has, has he? Have you? Have you had to sit through any of his performances? Do they have? Like, has he done a play? He's no, not young. yet. Yeah. No, no plays. My yet. son had an improv. He did an improv show at ten, and uh, that's, that's that's at ten for sure. Yeah. He kept looking over. Was it me. long? He kept. I uh, know. <laughs> that's what they do, dude. My, dude, he knows. My dad's a celebrity. Yeah. My father, he's a comedian. Well, they just like, want the. They, they want like, the okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, the kids are all there. I'm like. Keep it down. Well, what, you know, I sent you that video. When you call me, video was uh, Tiger was getting promoted in Jiu Jitsu to a gray belt, which is a big deal yeah. for him, Fuck especially yeah. he's not been doing it too long. Dude, he was Russian sambo tossing these kids on their head. And the coach was like, dude, I don't know where you're teaching him techniques. I went, I swear to you, he's, I've never taught him that. Just, That's not my. He, just picks th he watches UFC with me. Mm -hmm. he, so he's, I'm hip tossing. Go. Wow. Go. 10 year olds. Go. Jesus. Yeah. Why did so, you not want to teach him? It's just a lot for a five year old. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's it's, it's dangerous. Got it. So it's he's tossing kids on their heads and shit you'll like teach that. Him when he's older, but oh, yeah. for sure. But I teach him stuff now. But um, but so they'll do a thing like whoever gets the ten takedowns first. And so Tiger knows if he gets ten takedowns, he gets ice cream after. Since I said, dude, if you get ten takedowns, then you get taken down. You get ice cream. He's got an ice cream every single night God. since oh, we made damn. that deal. Every single night he goes, Dad, we get an ice cream. Here's the problem though. I'll take the kid down, look at me, and go, one! Like, because mm -mm, mm -mm. the kid's dad's next to me, like, mm, all right, that's, yeah, there you go. And I'll be like, three. I'm like, that's four, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But keep going. Just yep. fucking these yep. kids up, dude. Yep. My, my son kept running around. He kept me, I'm like sitting there watching the kids, and I just get a tap on my shoulder. He goes, I'm pretty funny. What, you, what, was, your, what was your favorite part? I go, yeah. kid, go back. You fired me, ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But uh, yeah, t Tiger, keep looking. I'll go, dude, fuck, fucking pay attention, dude. Quit looking over here. Uh, that, your Do I know more than him? Yes. Your kid born for sport, huh? Yeah. Can already we'll see. see. He's, he's been riding the skateboard? Riding skateboard. Yeah, we got to get him a new one, though. Yeah, I'm giving one for Christmas. Okay. Hopefully, uh, don't, haven't, hopefully you don't listen to the show. My, my <laughs> first reaction, anytime I see a big dude, my first reaction is muscular. I go, professional athlete. And then you go, no, not necessarily at all. No, no, no. And then the reason I know There's you There's so much that, to it. No, but also, oh, because if God. you watch Hard Knocks and you watch all those huge, really muscular guys and 1% make it among those guys, you're like, oh, that's why. Yeah. It's fucking... Well, like, like my boy, Will hard. Compton, for, he, he does yeah. busting with the boys. We're actually into a football campaign with him oh, and wow. his boy, yeah. Great. But for, I think, Stuck. for the national championship. Hopefully Great. I didn't yeah. say that before we agreed to it. Anyways, but Will Compton, you're talking... Stud. stud, all Big Twelve, University of Nebraska linebacker, stud. Yeah, dude, he you know he just signed with the Raiders. Mm -hmm. He he like floats around, dude. Oh yeah, he like I, was Tennessee for a while. Floats around. He's on special team. What, do you, you talk about talent, dude? Oh yeah, and you're talking like it's smart, smart monster. Dude, he's though. not big compared to a lot of those guys. He's big, but no, he's, he's not. Perfect. He looks like a big boy. He's not small. He's perfect. Thirty two. He's perfect for linebacker. Yeah, because yeah, speed now. Remember, yeah, you got to cover. Right. So if you're playing the Chiefs, but you also got to know your shit. You got to be smart. To be you're smart, that. but here's the thing. So the NFL is so fucking dicey. He could start for any team in the league. It's just about opportunity, the right fit, the right system. Fuck. But until he gets his shot, you're yeah. bouncing around, dude. Yeah. These are the people that you you know. That's no who one, you're competing with. Oh, dude, and you're talking all star, dude. Like if you went to college football right now, you'd win the Buckus Award. Is that like, true? Is that true? Super stud. So if you put him in the in the pro in the in the in a college lineup, excuse me, he would he would, he would have forty <laughs> tackles in the against he, Alabama. Why is that? Because he can read the offenses and just is ahead of these guys. He's just got so much experience, pattern recognition. He's and, been playing since he was fucking six, like yeah, I did. He's a yeah. he's a he's a monster. And, and a looker. The same and by position? the way, and by the no, way, no. steal your girl. A, a looker. A looker. Yeah, he's a dime piece girl. Yeah, super dime. Of course piece. he does. Well, of course he does. But just he's a stud, and he's like bouncing around. Great guy. He's one of the few guys in the NFL. You know, there's a lot of guys trying podcasts now. You know, athletes try podcasts. He's now. good, dude. He, he, I did his podcast. He's all right, Dad. All right, happy Dad. holiday. Merry Christmas. Hello. 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 Merry Christmas. Hello. Just Hello. Oh, now I feel awkward. Damn. Okay. Of course, no. Mark's the first one to like it. <laughs> That's a great picture. Hey, why'd you like it with my profile, dog? I didn't. It popped up. Oh, I see what you did. Oh. Yeah, like that. It Nobody? still makes you feel awkward, Kat? Yeah. With just us or just with uh, people? I think in general, like anytime someone points out something I'm doing, ever since I was a kid, like it, it made me the uncomfortable. Attention. 
You don't yeah. like it attention yeah. like makes me feel embarrassed almost because mm. they come from a big family. So like when someone oh, gets yeah. singled, singled out, out, it's usually like they're yeah. getting clowned. On. Everybody knows. So yeah. like you're just like ah. And now God. you make a living off doing it. Yeah. yeah, it's weird, huh? It's very weird. Very weird. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. You're good at it. I'm gonna post. Like that. <laughs> you go, go to post. Will Compton's yeah. pick. I think Will's expecting a baby right now too. His dude, you're game. talking about just a beast, dude. Oh, you did a spot in Nashville. Stud. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, so he's back on the Raiders. I go, dude, I need a jersey. He goes, you still have the jersey that Saint last time? Yeah, but he's number 57. Wait, hardest hit I've taken in the NFL. Let me see that. <laughs> you got lit up or what? Hit on a football field. The, the hardest, I would say, oh, you know what? Outside of like getting blindsided and like getting the air knocked out of yes, there or something yeah. like that, probably against the New Orleans Saints. I posted a video on this like a year ago, too. Uh, going against the New Orleans Saints when I was on uh, the Washington Redskins, I was taking off and tried – just throwing my body into this dude. And, I mean, I went stiff. Like, taking a metal bat into the hole, dude. Oh. I'm talking about I went stiff, and I even tried getting up. Because uh, right as he yeah, hit him, He I didn't went, budge like, him. You know, I went stiff, and I was down. He's like, night, stiff night. arm? Huh? Oh, did he say night, night? Oh. He said, he goes, so I was running, right? Oh. I running, oh. And I tried, That's fucking. I tried taking <laughs> off and lunging into this dude. Yeah. And, obviously, he smokes me, and the dude's like over 300 pounds, just built like a brick shit house. Christ. And I'm like, you know, I like go stiff and down to the ground, and he's like, night, night, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a lot of fun. Damn. It's him and his boy Taylor, man. They're beasts, though. But they're kind of the first guys in the NFL to do this. Yep. Man. But he has the personality for it. Yes, he yeah. does. I, I find that a lot of football huge. players, because they're team players, have real, a lot of social intelligence. They're the funnest to hang out with. They really are. For sure. Football players. Yeah, they, 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 I, f I find their personalities the most to be the most. Developed. Some of them are introverted, but a lot of yeah. them because you're around so many different Com personalities. Compared to fighters, and like, the no. difference is <laughs> me, is, is so night close. and day. But remember, if you're playing at University of Nebraska, you're playing with guys from California, yes. Compton. Yes, you're playing from Texas, Fifth Ward. You're playing yeah. from Dade County, different Miami races, guys. Different, yeah, and you all have to come together like the fucking. You know the the uh, Titans. What was that? The, remember uh, the Titans. Remember the Titans. Yeah. You all got to come yeah. together and gel as a team. That's be chemistry. Yep. So those guys' verbal IQs and like social awareness is so high because these girls are super. Oh dumb. wow. Yeah, yeah. super. Yeah, they expect it. That's awesome. Oh, it's a girl. Good for him, man. Good for him, man. Man, we should spitball names for his kid. Um. Yeah. Well. His kid's so. probably gonna be a well. It's girl. It's gonna be a girl. Girls are tough. Call her Athleta. Athleta? See, I like I'd, so if if, if if I had a girl, I, I like boy names for girls. Oh, like a like Jamie, Charlie, Charlie. Like I don't want to give away the name because if we do have a girl, I'm for sure naming it this. I met a girl named Cody. Yeah, I, lo I love that. Name. I like Cody for a boy or a girl. Yeah. Cody's not a bad name for my boy. But how many Cody. old Codys do you know? No? I know too many Codys. How about do you want him to about, work at Chipotle? How about Colby? <laughs> Colby. But then he doesn't call him Cody. If you don't like Brendan, yeah, because of true. Brandon, yeah. Cody. Also, fuck Cody, off. Cody. Um, I like Jack. I think, Jack. To me, blue. Blue. It's I'm, unique. I'm, dude, I'm right like, with you on that. Like, why would you get? I don't get like Blue's great, people. Are like, I can't believe you name a kid Tiger in Boston. Yeah, bitch, because I don't want him to just gel I in with agree. everybody else. I yeah. want blue. I want him to have that different name, so he he's different. I'm calling him Blue. Fuck yeah, Blue Cow. How are you gonna spell That's it? A good name. Just regular. I mean, uh, to be. Cheeky. E L U or B L O O could be stupid, but but no, we're calling yeah. blow that. Yeah, the only problem is you got to blue. Do you get, see? You always got to remember. Yeah, you, he's gonna be bullied. Gonna, yeah, mm. guy's gonna fuck with. I don't him. care who you are. My kid's a fucking. No, you're gonna get, he's Shaq of elementary. He yeah. still gets bullied. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you punch kids oh, in the face, 100%. whatever. Yeah, but they're gonna get bullied. Yes. So if you remember names. You gotta remember. Yeah, you call him blow. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a tough day blow on the a, yard. Blow is an issue. So B L U E probably just keep it B L U. Simple. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, blue. Otherwise, B -L -U -E. Fire, dude. I like. That, is your girl man. gonna go for it? She likes it. Wow. She, likes it. she was playing you, with Parker, Caden. I just Parker. Uh, Parker. Parker sounds too. Upper Parker class. feels like a uh, real estate agent in Orange County. I agree, man. Parker Callen here. Parker Callen. Like the house. Hey guys, Parker Callen. Parker, Parker Callen. How many cool Parkers? Parker, do you no, Parker Callen. Callen is a life coach. We don't want that for him. We want more for blue. Yeah. It's blue. I'm going to call him blue, blue. for that. You're going to call him blue. So am I. Here's the thing, Bubba. Yeah. Name him Jack Parker. But I call him fuck. blue. I call him blue. That's right. Uncle That's Uncle Brendan yeah. calls him blue. Uncle Brendan's calling him blue. Now, you know he comes over Uncle him. Brendan's house. You know you're going to leave. Yeah. yeah. You're going to love my house. Hate yeah. yours. Oh, I know. Because yeah. you got all the boy stuff. All the stuff. You got all the stuff. We have basketball court. 
<coughs> pool, slide. You got trampoline? Cars. You got trampoline? Tramps. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Mines. yeah, you do have a trampoline. Oh, yeah. yeah I saw it. it, yeah. So it's Disneyland. So yeah. it's fucking Disneyland. Yeah. Disaster. That's why my kid in the pandemic was complaining, like, you fucking ignorant little bastard. Yeah, you, you have, have no any idea? idea? <laughs> if I was in a pandemic when I was your age, we didn't have <laughs> shit to do. Uh -huh. We had nothing. Well, it's like my daughter. I had my brother. That's it. When, he was terrible. When your daughter turns 13, uh, what happens is uh, there's something in their DNA that's like, they, they just I hate my dad roll. Their, oh, yeah. And, uh, and I'll be like, I'll be like, um, um, you know, she had an audition. She had an audition. I said, for the her. school play. Yeah, I go, I, I can help you with this. She goes, no, thanks, Dad. No. Oh, wow. And I go, all right, baby. I, really? I, went, I went, oh, okay, wow. I go, so again, she goes, no, I got this. And by the way, it's it's a theater thing. And she it was like, this place. She goes, oh, and I said, oh, because Dad's sometimes theater. Oh, because I don't know anything about theater. Just, and I don't know. Do you take about, a warm hand and or I stupid didn't face? Study, I didn't, well, my joke is this. She's also, like, she's learning things I forgot about in school. Mm -hmm. So she'll do stuff like, she'll be like, you don't. You don't know all the layers of the atmosphere. <laughs> like, I'll push a pie in your face. Yeah, it's right like now. I did when I was seven, bitch. Like I wouldn't hit her, but I'll push a pie in. Yeah. Your, I'll, yeah. I'll twist it in. Just to let her I'll know. Go, there Just you go. Yeah. I don't believe in hitting kids, but I will give him a, a, a strong C on the elbow. Strong oh, C. Oh yeah. <laughs> strong C. Oh, by the way, strong I'll do that. C I'll do that to my boy. He'll feel the power. Oh, I my boy. He'll feel was, the power. My boy is fighting with my my daughter on the plane and making a big scene. And fighting over who gets the window seat, and I got into fisticuffs, and my son was initiating it, and I grabbed him. Your daughter beat the shit out of somebody. Yeah, she'll beat yeah. the shit. She yeah, doesn't she fuck around, up, but yeah. she's she's that's her little she's brother. Long and big. Yes, and yeah. she can she can play some t -t 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 tennis. Yeah, I grabbed him. Son needs to go the body on her. I grabbed I grabbed him and I went and I do the same thing. I'll, I'll, I'll C clamp hard. I'll C clamp on that. C clamp. C -clamp. Hard. Well, you'll do that to a grown man. I had to do it to a grown man who we we're very close with. Yeah, because he got out of line. And you had to, you had to C clamp up. in front of Jamie at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, and it was you, very embarrassing. And you had to C clamp up. And it really, everyone views me. You different. C clamped a grown ass man. <laughs> sure did. He really embarrassed like, me. Here's like, the thing. Here's the thing. You can't. He got too comfortable. You and really embarrassed me in front of you other can't, comedians. You can't get in it. You can't physically accost him. So if you're going to physically yeah. accost him, this guy him, was used to doing. He was treating other people really shitty. Okay. And I knew that, and he did it to me. You can't do that. And then you just you said, can't get physical. I see clamped him so fucking hard. <laughs> you can't get physical with the bear. Yeah. You can get in. I've gotten in your face. I've been, I've been, I've done You've this. You yelled at each other. Yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, I walk off like I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. pissed off. You got my, in his face? Yeah, I got oh, my, yeah. well, I mean, not in his face, but I get, I have, We've I have, yelled fla at each I have flash yeah. anger. Yeah. But he's the same way. We get all angry. But For two seconds. Yeah, of course. I mean, Honestly, it's like don't. It's real quick, yeah. It's, but but yeah. I'm, I'm macho. I get macho. Y'all been around each other for years. Yeah. Like like one time yeah, we were like shooting, we shit. had to shoot some shit, and I go, I'm not doing this shit. I'm fucking not doing it. I'm not, and I walk off, and you go, then I'll do it, dude. And I'm walking like like I'm ready to fight somebody. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> even in my weather, I'm not gonna get up. You I'm got not, the I'm walk. Not go like this. I'm not gonna go. Douche. I'm not gonna yeah. put hands on him. Uh -huh. That's insane. I'm not gonna put hands on you. Because you, you just have that aggression naturally. It's insane. Yeah, but. You just you just need to know your boundaries. Yeah, pick and choose. Don't be stupid now. Don't be stupid. God, I'm so excited for your son, Blue. 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 Yeah. Do you get a blue tattoo? And I'll just show up and just go, there you go. Ooh, dude, give, dude, give him to me. I'll buy your kid. You'll raise him. <laughs> yeah. How much? Dude, how it'd much? be like 300. How, how much? Maybe 10 grand for that kid. Hey, Genetics. hey. Your kid's worth 10 grand? Hey. <laughs> dude, genetic? I am athletic. Hey, dude. My girl's very athletic. That's true. All right. he might be a little beast. He, he, I think I, I he's going to be athletic. I think your daughter's the most athletic, but yeah. I think but that is he, coordinated. He might be. I, give me that amount. I'm oh, pretty coordinated. Sure. No, you're, dude. For average Joe, you're yeah, a beast. I'm pretty coordinated. Yeah, for sure. So, girl, my girly girl's uh, coordinated. I know. Uh, you know, he could be a little outlier. He could be a little. outlier. I think it's gonna be good if he is small though, because that chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Get like that Rudy syndrome yeah. going. My buddy's my buddy's kids. His wife is four eleven, and he's five seven, mm -hmm. and his kids are. His kids came home. One was eleven. The other was like uh, thirteen. And and they go, Dad. The son goes, Dad. I'm small. I mean, I, they, no. He goes, Dad. Kids are calling me small, man. They're calling me small. Yeah, it's tough. And he he and 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 I guess some of the, he in a part of the world where some of the kids are Samoan and Tongan. Yeah. And he goes, um, he was in Utah, so a lot of Tongans and Samoans. So many Mormons. They get yeah. yes. Yeah. They recruit. So, they're, so that's who you're fucking with, right? Those kids on the playground, those Tongans, Samoans. And he goes, he comes on and he goes, Dad, the kid's calling me small. Compared and to my them, friend, my friend goes, that's because you are. How old is he? Yeah. How old is he? He was 13. He goes, yeah, once you own it, though. It's own like, it. He goes, that's what he said. He goes, that's because you are and you're going to yeah. be. Yeah. 
Yeah, depend, dude. There's small Especially guys who crush it. Is. Like what, dude? Your north star, if you're in the sports, could be like Wes Welker, or mm -hmm. there's like Messi's. Or tiny. sports ain't your thing sometimes. Or it could be, or yeah, look or it could at be. dude, look at fighting. There's a yeah. bunch of smaller dudes. Yes, Cejudo. Cejudo. I Cejudo? mean, there's so many small yeah. guys. Yeah. So many small guys who yeah. just crush it. Yeah, I do think being big is easier in life, don't you find? I don't know. Over everybody, I feel I like both have their advantages. I, I feel not a lot of advantages. Small. Yeah. I mean, you got to work harder, I guess. Yeah. That everything. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Cheaper clothes, there. That is a good advantage. My shoes, I don't have to spend that much money on because I'm short and my feet are small. So I get. I see. I forgot. I know, you guys but you pay for small. it in, in I forgot in you life. guys were not tall. I just forgot that. that. Appreciate that. Yeah. I'm glad you don't see height. You know. You don't see uh, height. Don't. You don't see color. You don't I mean, see I don't think that. it matters. I don't think of you guys as. I don't. Is cat taller than both Very of well you? adjusted. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Are you taller than both of them, cat? In my head, I am. I don't think <laughs> so I actually am, I but think, in my head, I think. I think cat's taller. Wait, stand up. You guys yeah. are still in frame, too. Taller, taller. Hey, barely. No, he's, he's, he's well taller. You guys are not tall guys. No. Nobody, yes, nobody over here is tall. You guys don't tall. have small man like energy, though. Wait, how tall is no, your, no, how tall's your dad, no, Meatball? 5'10"? You your dad's 5'10"? Yeah, we don't well, have Meatball's like a little pit bull. Yeah. 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 I'll take it. I used to be that. You'd want him in your foxhole. Yeah, he's a little digger. He's a digger. He digs. He'll fight. He and dig, give up that rump. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you have a lot of size, but you have... You don't move slow. See, a lot of my guys who are big move slow, and they and they tend to be they apologize for their size by being clumsiness, super sweet and super passive. When well, we were doing the slam, nice. you got you got I'm no no nice. no. You're very nice, but you have a you have a um, you have a weird thing. You have also a good chip on your shoulder, so it makes you yeah. It makes you. Uh, it's not an Napoleon complex. But you move at a clip. Yeah. You move at a clip. That's what I'm saying. When we were doing those sled pushes and the burpees, this motherfucker was just. Yeah, oh no no he'll oh no he'll compete. He was quick. Yeah. No no if there's if there's a competition. Uh -huh. One time we were playing. He and I, we were playing uh, uh, volleyball on the beach, and we didn't know we we had just gotten to become friends. We were oh friends for God, a year. This and this gal, this gal. Goes, I can't believe he got you to play this, volleyball on the this beach. This life though. coach. This dude. this woman goes. Uh, oh I know you're talking about. She goes you're a pro athlete. Famous comedian. She she goes we can say her name. Yeah, Eliza. Uh, Eliza Schlesinger. Schlesinger. I love her. I love her. But, but Eliza Great goes, comedian. Eliza is such a smart ass. She goes, she goes, man, I thought you'd be better. You're a pro athlete. I thought you'd be better at volleyball. So I Dude, see Brendan. I see Brendan. He was young. Oh. I, he was young and still fighting. So if you're still fighting, he had that thing. So I just see him like this. I huddled he, everybody. His up. fucking, his <laughs> fucking face. No, 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 no humor. No humor. He went like this. He just went, he, I saw him stand and his mouth opened a little. He went like this. Like in his, right behind his face, he went <gasps> like that. But instead he went like this. <laughs> his breathing said he went. And then he turns to Tony, his, his coach, who's a who's a bronze medal. Tony Jeffries, bronze medal in the Olympics, boxing. Yep. And goes uh, boxing burn on. And he goes like this. He looks and Tony gets really competitive. And he goes like this. He goes, "We have to win." Yeah. Yeah. We have to win. So then I spiked it like meet the parents on the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah. You're jumping. Like, hey, you yeah. You pulled that Michael Jordan. Yeah. And I took that personal. Yeah. I took it personal. Isn't it funny how that how when you're young that shit can get to you so deeply. Tiger has the same thing, though, because they were doing something. And, again, he shouldn't be talking to his grandma like this, but it's just that Kobe mentality that he has. They're doing something. His grandma goes, uh, who he loves dearly. He probably loves her more than anybody in this world. And they're playing outside, and she goes, oh, you lost. She goes, you lost. And kept going, you lost. You lost. And he goes, you're a loser. And grabs the ball and fucking poof. I'm like, well, fuck. Yeah, that's I go, Tiger, let me talk to you, dude. Yeah. So I tore him. I'm like, you can't call your grandma a loser. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yeah. But inside, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, fuck yeah. We need that competitive. There's no losers around here. Yeah. My son right. is, is, uh, Spiked up on is an face. amazing actor. Like uh -huh. My son, uh, I get a call. I got to come to the podcast. I, I, the other, Monday, I got to come to the podcast. Uh, I get a call from my ex. She goes, you have to pick Finn up. Um, I'm not in town, and he's sick. He's sick. I go, what? He goes, he's not feeling well. I go, Something's Jesus going Christ! Around. I go, all right. So he's got a stomach thing. So I, I got to get, I got to go get him, then drive him back to his house, and then come to the podcast. So I'll be 15 minutes late. So, but it's out of my way. I got to, I got to drive. That's a nightmare. Yeah, Manhattan, to Santa Monica, and I pull up. It's 40 minutes. You know, and I'm all. I got my routine. I'm going to do my night. Yep. You got to get, get your clothes. Go. Kids on your phone. Fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I get there, and he comes up bouncing out. Hey, Dad. A bouncing out. He felt fine. And I go, huh? I thought you were sick. <laughs> I go, thought you were sick. He goes, no, I am, I am. I go, are you? Are you now? <laughs> what, um, what's going on with where? He goes, my stomach, it's, uh, it's a whirlpool. 
it's going like this a lot. Like, and I go, is That's it? Funny. Is a it? Whirlpool. Like, and by the way, with a clip energy yeah, like that, yeah. I look at the, I look at the, uh, Not at the fucking principal. I go, and she goes, yeah, he's probably should need a better breakfast. She just walks out. Yeah, like, she knows what's up. All right, they've so seen it. I get it. I go, I go, I Facetime mom, and I say, uh, yeah, yeah, Finn's, uh, I got him. He's sick. And I go, and she goes, do we have a little faker on our hands? Yeah. And he goes, faker. Faker? I'm not talking to either one of you guys. I'm not talking to you guys. Don't believe me? I'm done. And he just turns and he faces the window like that. He's like that. And I go, oh, geez. All right. Well, he seems to have a lot of energy. He's super mad. I better get out of here because I got to see what's wrong with him. He definitely doesn't feel well. He's super angry like that. So I just were driving and I go, I go, so, um, so tell me, you're, uh, you're sick with a scale of one to 10? And he's like, what? I go, one being terrible, seven, uh, 10 being amazing. What are you? He goes, like a six? I go, it's pretty good. Seven? Yeah. He goes, right now, maybe. <laughs> I go, good, 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 good. So you're feeling better. That's good. I say, now, you know that I'm, I'm trained in reading human behavior. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, well, I can read someone's face. I, they, you give yourself away. You know what ticks are? No. I go, you use ticks. You do little things with your face that tell me when that you're lying. lying. I go, now, if I look you in the face, I can always tell. I'm very good. So he just goes like this. He just goes. And I go, okay, now tell me the story. What happened? He was laughing. I was no, no. It was great. He goes. He goes. I was. I was. There was a very long essay. Use the word essay. Uh -huh. Teacher was say, doing this long essay, and I began to feel really sick. And I was. I had a fever, and I just said, I don't feel sick. I got to go to the nursery. I mean, to the nurse. And I go, okay, stop, stop. Tell me the same story again, because you know you got it. If you're lying, yeah, you yeah, tell me the same story. Yep. I can just see he's frowning. He's telling me the story. I go, stop, stop. I believe you. And he goes, thanks, Dad. Oh, that's cool. No, and I go, I go, you're welcome. And he goes, thanks for believing me. You're lying. And I go, and I go, yeah, you got it. And I see him, and he turns to the window, but he doesn't know that I can see his reflection. Like, <laughs> and this motherfucker, this motherfucker is going like this. He's going. I love it. He's raising his that, eyebrows. That he's stuff going, doesn't bother me, though. And I go, I go, you I go, you gave yourself away. Yeah. You had me and you're celebrating in the mirror. That I stuff, can see you. That stuff doesn't yeah. bother me though. But he, I remember, because I used he, to was, he goes, I was bullshit. I, I used to fake being sick. I remember my dad made such a big deal of it. Doesn't bother me either. Who gives a fuck? He also got away One with day? It. I know. One fucking, my dad made such a big deal of it. I said the lesson here is you can't celebrate that early, dude. You got me. Mm -hmm. You won. Well done. Well done. Don't don't abuse it. But yep. you were celebrating too early. I'll tell you what's different though is I like I hate I didn't like school. I didn't want to go. Tiger. He was sick the other day. And he woke up like how you feel? It's great. Excellent. Actually, I go good enough for school. He goes, oh yeah. I'm like fuck, dude. Oh, that's I impressive. would have melt this thing to fucking. He was Friday. ready. He loves school. He just loves school. He loves yeah. school. Which is I'm I can't wait to have kids. Yeah, it's it's so, pop them out, dog. It's good. It's good. Oh, did you show Count your new tattoo? No, not yet. Show it. I'm not gonna show you. Yeah. Why? Because it's a surprise. Well, you just the vlog. Well, see, when's now, the vlog go out? Now hold on. Thursday. Uh, now see now. Yeah, oh, it's a surprise for. Don't don't worry about surprising me. Because Thursday. Yeah. You don't care. No. Yeah. You don't care about yeah, my yeah, tattoo. Yeah. It's not like you don't I'm give waiting. a fuck. <gasps> yeah. It's a it's a giant it's giant lettering across the stomach. Oh. It, it must have hurt. And what what's the lettering? What's the lettering? Then that gives if away the tattoo. If it's Oasis, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I already have an Oasis tattoo, so thank you very much. A bunch of them. Yeah. It's a punk rock thing, right? Yeah. Oh, is it a band? Uh, it's one a, of my favorite bands. Fugazi or something. Uh, uh, no, not, oh, okay. Name of Fugazi. I see you. It's because you oh. see me wear the shirts. I, I like oh. what you're about to get, though. That'd be cool. All right. Hey, yeah. who? Uh, what's his? Like who's that. the lead singer of? Um, of what? Oh uh, God, um, Dave Grohl. Yeah, Dave oh, no, Grohl. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Not, yeah, not Dave Grohl. I'm not. I'm thinking of someone else. Tony Hawk was on uh, Flagrant with Schultze, uh -huh. and he was talking about, you know how you're, when your kid's doing acting, you obviously could help him out? He says that his kids are into skateboarding, and the friends will come over and be like, oh, look at this shit. And Tony, he'll come in from like skateboarding and be like, oh, what are you guys looking at? I'm like, oh, you don't understand. It's this. He's like, who do you think created that move? <laughs> and the kid's like, yeah, get out of here. He's like, all right. Isn't that amazing? And he goes upstairs. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that weird? My daughter would not even entertain me helping her. Yeah, they just don't. I'm like, I can help you with this. If there's mm. anything I can help you, you with. you see The Rock's little I'll girl? I'll get you the part. you see The Rock's little girl? She's cute as shit. Yeah, she is. And she doesn't believe that her dad's the voice of Moana. Oh, and he's like, you're welcome. She's like, you sound just like him. He's like, I'm, I'm Moana. Yeah, that's and she's like, no, you're not. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, I am. He keeps, he's doing the voice exactly as like she goes. That's really good, but you're not him. That's and he's like, I'm fucking. What are you? The fuck. That's amazing. That ain't crazy. Tony, Tony's crazy. son, beast of a skater, Riley. Really, Riley Is he? Hawk. Yeah, I had him on my podcast. He uh, he actually just. I mean, obviously, he was in the environment, 
but he just started kicking ass on his own. Really? Yeah, because he didn't want to like. He wanted to skate, but he, he didn't right like, off his dad's coat. He got separate. Yeah, he, he, like, he just took. Like he just skated because he liked to skate. Yeah, you know, and separate, then it just kind of like took him, dad. took him to like a new level or whatever. But is you know, Tony Hawk really tall? And and isn't that hard? To he's be tall. Yeah, yeah. His, I think it's, I think Riley. Yeah, his son's taller than me. Now, what what? Where would you place him as an athlete? Is that an athletic oh, thing yeah, or is that he a, does do he top that's five? Not, that's not a well, skill. He's top five. He's top five. Top yeah. five. Yeah. Pioneer. Yeah, top yeah. five all yeah. time. He's done a lot. Athlete. Oh yeah. yeah. But, but 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 skating might have been the only sport where he would have been that way. I don't. I don't not know with that. his work ethic. He'd right. been successful. He's a professional. That's yeah. that's. that's I mean, he didn't play in the NBA or right. NFL, but right, right, right. for his skill set, yeah. Dude, He'd be yeah, good at whatever it is. He's the, one of those winners. You're, no, t- t- oh, he, he, he's go when he's, he's, he's going those the, the nine hundred. He's like Lance Armstrong. Yeah, for Tony, Tony Hawk, type of Tony Hawk nine hundred. But the, the stuff that he did, like he was the first guy to do that. First ever yeah. to do the nine hundred. And you, he, and that you, was, uh, you saw him on flagrant. He wasn't even planning to do this. He didn't want to do it. He failed so many times. And then the announcer was like, gonna... "Let's do it." And he's like, "Fuck it, let's try it." Boom! Oh. But he does oh get it. Oh my god! Damn, that's that's OG. I remember watching this. <laughs> so, so, and now guys do it all the time, probably. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Tony goes well. You know, like once you see what someone can do, then these young kids take another yeah. level. He goes, the stuff they're doing now, I can't do. God. So his, kids see that and yeah. like, oh, that's, right. that's possible, and that's then they right. just take it. That's it's right. like the guy who ran the mile. Like no one could ever break the four minute mile. So type in this one guy did it, and next thirty year. people did it. I know. Thirty people did. Well, now kid, now high schoolers are are running four four minute. And dude, three. it's nuts. Watch his son skate. Uh, just best tricks or what? It's just Riley Hawk. You're just, it'll skateboarding. skateboarding, yeah. His son's insane. But they're different styles. His son's uh, His kids are. Uh, street skater. These kids <coughs> who do this crazy shit. That- <coughs> oh, so shit. he's tall like his pops. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's pretty cool. D- dude. Like just sh- You do some crazy shit, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What the so fuck? he went kind of opposite of his dad doing street. Yeah, and so what he's, is, he's a beast, man. He skates for one of my favorite skate companies. He's he's dope. Nice guy too. That's cool. Wow. Super nice guy. Good for him, man. Just, yeah, it's really cool. Like anything else, man. You, you know, Tony Hawk was talking about the video game Tony Hawk, which is you know game changer. Mm-hmm. And he was like, at the time, he's like, yeah, whatever. Video game wasn't a big deal. And he said, uh, like they were gonna pay him a fee. And then the company came to him because they realized how big it was going to be. And he had no idea. He had no money at the time. He was, you know, skating. He was making decent money, mm-hmm. but not like rich. And he said the company who made the game was like, hey, so we'll just pay you this flat fee of like 100 grand and then call it even. And he was like, what's going on here? He's like, no, nah, I'll take percentage of the sales. He's like, I'm mm-hmm. going to bet on myself, take percentage of the sales. And then fucking. It blew up. And there was other skate games before the, before Tony Hawk oh, Pro Skater. So the Tony dope. Hawk Pro Skater fucking. And he said he had all his buddies involved in the game because like right, you put yep. me in, you got to put my friends in. You know, and they had like female all skaters. All you know, they cool all got this? paid. It's yep. like they all got when, paid. when he yep. was skateboarding, he probably has zero idea he was ever going to make money. Doing well, that's what he said he wasn't doing it for money. Yeah, it's just when he started making money, he's like, oh shit, here but we go. But when you obsess over one thing and you're the best at it, well, yeah. when you're not worried about making money, that's when. Yeah, well, they weren't making any money. It's like Laird Hamilton. Like he was gonna surf no matter what, yeah, and just became a total innovator. It's a these, passion, yeah. But w- riding these massive fucking waves with different innovations with boards. I mean, you know, where where the one bring up Laird Hamilton when he surfed that one wave, and it and it was oh my god on Surf Magazine. Oh, it's nuts. And if he had way, fallen, there was like a, a very seven story good building he crashed on top of you. Surf yeah, he died. I, I'm sponsored by by Rip Curl. by, by Surf Rip Curl. Rip yeah, Curl. by Surf. By uh, Ruka. Surf, Ruka. Surf, Ruka. Surf, Ruka. 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 There, there I am. Now that's there. I am. Now, that's, <laughs> now that, that would be. Now that would be in. That would be in. How huge is that Haiti. fucking wave? Well, you can get sucked up into it. Yeah. And die. You know, I just saw him at uh, Air One. I see him. And you him can tell too. that he is a very sturdy human being. Well, when He's I just built different. Bubba, when I saw him, Damn. when I saw him Damn. in his prime, when I saw him in his prime, I promise you, I promise you, you'd look at him and go, "Well, that guy." Oh, he's His neck gorgeous. Was thicker than yours. Uh-huh. He was two thirty-five, six foot four, and just. Is just, he is he, now is he married to Cindy Crawford? He's not married to Cindy Crawford. He's married to Gabrielle Reese, who was a professional volleyball player, and she's every bit of six foot That's three. That's right. Yeah. I worked with her. Who, who's who's the guy married to Cindy Crawford? That would be Randy Gerber, who owns oh, S- he's Sky not a Bar and all that. He's not a surfer. I think he's a surfer, but not like this guy. Yeah. Now go go to go to young 
If you go to young uh, uh, Laird Hamilton, uh-huh. you'll get a lo- load of what he was built like. I mean, he was just a. He had some I saw him, him dude. years ago. Well, it's just his neck. And well, that's you and Laird Hamilton right there. <laughs> that, that's, that's when he's old. It's you and Laird Hamilton. <laughs> yes, it is. When he was younger. Now, though, you're spearfishing and he's surfing. That, that would be me. That's with you my two son. right there. That, that old man's Dude, that's, safe. You know who that is? That's you and Blue in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it fucking is. That's you and Blue in 20 yeah, years. I'll have, my t- I'll have my tits removed. But look at him when he was a young kid. He was a he was just big and strong. Oh, the, not the great She's the black and white six photo. Four. His yeah. wife oh, is yeah. gorgeous, oh, yeah. too, man. Yeah. He's oh, just, look, he's just yeah, a freak. Just look at, but look how, dude, he's built like a stingray. I know. Look at his fucking neck. I know. Yeah. yeah. The he's like Brock Lesnar. That's when he was 17. He's a tall dude, bro. Yeah. 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four. Six, four. Yeah, very big guy. When I when they walked in, I remember I saw him at the firehouse 20 years ago, and I was like, who the fuck are these guys? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm at Irwin, you know, in line with my fucking juice, and he's in front of me. Yeah. And right away, I'm like, that's fucking Damn. little hand. That's how he yeah. looks now? And that's he had, he and he had a, that's how, it's exactly how he looks now. He's built yeah. like a brick shit house. Fucking yeah. crazy. Now, if you look at him when he's younger, when he was surfing, when he was making a name for himself, uh-huh. he was like there, right, look at his back right there. How like, old is he? Um, Do you see his back? Yeah, right there where he's, he's doing right his board. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's just that. Is, is that's he your he age, Brian? He's. I think he's my age. Yeah. Yeah. Such a freak, dude. Just a big wave rider, though. One of the first. The ride. The guy was riding. He does crazy he workouts die. now at his house. Yeah. But the, my favorite story. My favorite story is, my friend's pit bull, is locked onto another pit bull, on the beach in Malibu. <coughs> dog Maggie, and my friend's big strong guy, but he didn't know how to. He didn't know what the fuck to do. So he's trying to pull his dog off. People are screaming. Along comes Laird Hamilton, who comes running up, grabs both the dogs, runs into the water, holds them under the water until oh, they let go. Because they're yep. going to drown. Goes, which one is whose? Oh, My wow. friend's like, that, and, and he goes, all right. What a and stud. just gets out of the water and just keeps running. My stud. brother's like, that's a fucking See you later, dude. My buddy Gavin O'Connor. Who, who, who's, uh, what other, the other big surfers that are around that age? There's him. Who's the other huge one? Uh, 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 all those guys that, that were together. In riding Kelly giants. Kelly Slater. Yeah, I talk to Kelly Slater all the time. You do, right? All the time. Yeah. Fighting. Talk fighting he all the time. Fighting. Loves fighting. Me and him DM back. Well, and he's forth the Michael the Jordan time. of uh Kelly Slater's the yeah. nicest guy. He has a yeah. store in Malibu. He's yep. the nicest fucking guy. Really? Knows his Down shit. Down to too. earth and shit. Oh, the best. And he knows his shit about fighting? No. Well, he's his such shit. a freak out. Dude, I'll he'll go, what do you we'll go talk about picks? Like, oh, what do you think of pick of this week? I'll tell him. And then he'll be like, Oh, I think that I'm like, oh shit, this dude knows his stuff. What dude, is- you know what? You know what keeps me up at night? What? You know, back in the early 2000s, Blackberries, yeah. they were hot, I right? remember Blackberries. But, dude, I remember but it. then- It's not see, sitting in my drawer now. It's got lots of dust on it. Yeah, bro. But, dude, back in 2000, that thing was lit. Oh, it was the thing. But oh, yeah. how about my boy Steve Jobs came along with Apple, and they uh-huh. went, you know what? I bet we can make a better phone. Uh-huh. And, dude, and someone said, let's make this a podcast. We're talking about business wars, man. There's a you, podcast dude, called Dude, you business hear about wars? how Blackberries and the iPhones battled. Oh, so so basically, it's the it's behind the scenes as business changes, innovation changed, and one industry died, the other one won. Yeah, man, on um, business wars, war. iPhones versus BlackBerry. You'll hear how BlackBerry, the phone favored by presidents, Wall Street, and along top comes government the iPhone, officials. Yeah, iPhone was just a better product, dude. And the dude, it then wins. Apple came along. They pushed the envelope. Capitalism, baby. That's oh my what god, it's, it's called fantastic. creative destruction. Creative destruction. Fantastic. Somebody comes up with a better way. To fantastic. Do it. iPhone wins. Wins over BlackBerry in this corner. Listen to iPhone. the phone. Listen to the Business Wars iPhone versus BlackBerry podcast on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or you can listen ad free by joining Wondery Plus in Wondery app. Okay, here's the thing about insurance, dude. I don't know how to find it. I don't know how to search for dude, it. Dude, it's exhausting. I need, if I need car insurance, if I need home insurance, and also I don't know if I'm getting scammed. I don't have time to compare a bunch of prices. Dude, I'm too lazy. Shut I'm your old trap, dude. Anyone. That's so where do do? the zebra. I'm panicking, dude. You need the zebra. You can compare car and home quotes from every major insurance company in under the five zebra? minutes. Hold on, what does it do, dude? It's the fast way to find the right coverage at the right price. All so, right. So it, it what it, it it finds all the different quotes. Yeah, saves it's your money, man. One? Saves money. An average of nine hundred twenty-two bucks a year on home and auto combined in other words they focus on details so you don't have to man save time and money in minutes compare quotes for free at thezebra.com slash fighter that's thezebra.com slash fighter full zebra here's the thing dude you know what when you get tired and i can see you're tired you need to pick me up sometimes you might need some alpha brain you might do i need alpha brain i swear by it you might need some digestive health. Some total Dude, gut you know, health. you know, Daddy had uh, food poison, and I used a ton of total gut health. So let's listen to this. I had food poisoning. I I was nauseous for one month. I took total gut health. It went away. 
That 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 for is a month? that is I really was That's a long time. Well, I I would I would eat and I'd be you nauseous. Feel nauseous. Eat nauseous. I don't know if you remember that. Do you remember? No, I remember that. Yeah. I took I took uh, literally like total gut health, gut right? Health. Yeah. And I, I swear Felt to God, it better. Me too, dude. Because yeah, they have they have they really do have scientists and doctors ah, that look into all of this. Listen, stuff. if you, if you're taking someone's not on it, you suck. How about yeah, that? On it. dot com slash fighter ten percent off everything everything they offer, man. Coffee. We also got fitness gear. It's a one stop shop. And protein it's a powders. One shop. We got streaming fitness. On demand workouts, battle ropes, steel club maces, kettlebells, primal bells. We got it all, man. On it.com slash fighter 10% off. Wow. Can I get your picks, by the way? Bring up bring up the fights this weekend. Because I'm going to give you my picks and I want to get your picks. First of all, the big one UC 269. Oh, we got a bet on it, don't we? Yeah. Let's see where we're different, though. Because I think I'm, a, I'm up by 1,000. No, remember, we're even now. Are I we think even? You owe me money. Yeah, because Canelo fight. Yeah. But then I won. I won the Peter Jan. Yep. But then I, I won, won Canelo. You won Canelo. To double or nothing. We're even. Yeah. I think we're even. All right. So we got. So the, the, Oliveira, the main ones Dustin you got Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, Amanda Nunes, Julian Pena, Neil <laughs> Ponsonabio, Kara France, Cody Garbrandt. First out at 125 for Cody Garbrandt. Uh -huh. You got Sean O'Malley. So I got O'Malley. Okay. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. This is his first like top 10 fighter, I think. No, yeah? it's not. No, okay. not even close. Keep going. No. Nope. It's Daniel Lane. So Raul and Pavia is not even what? close top ten. Oh, he's not. No. All right. Sean O'Malley's not ranked top ten. They're bringing him very. They're bringing him up very slowly. Yep. Uh, Cody Garbrandt, uh, first time at one twenty five. I don't know what that weight cut is for him. I have no idea, so I don't know. I don't know. I think he'll be fine because he's a small thirty five er. All right. You you got your money on Kobe? Cody. One hundred percent. Cody right. knocks that guy out. And uh, France is no punk. Okay. It's a tough fight for him at first fight at flyweight. Yeah, I don't know Jeff O'Neill uh, or Santiago. Oh man, that's I, a shame. I, that's a great fight. Be. All right, so what do you want to fucking bet on? I'm, uh, not, I'm not betting. I mean, I, Amanda, Amanda Nunez is going to win. Bet on that. She's going to win that. Who, so main event, who you got? Fuck. This is where I make my money. Fuck. Um, now, Charles Oliveira has more ways to win. He does. Better striker, better on the ground. I, I, I would contest that. I would contest he's a better striker. I would actually contest that. Justin uh, Poirier is Heavier handed. Uh, Charles Oliver, te technical wise, much better f striker. I don't know about Kicking, that. Kicking, Muay Bubba, Thai. Dustin Poirier's kicks and punches. His boxing is so on point. Um, I, I don't know. I, I know. I, I Charles Oliver, most finishes ever in UFC history. Well, he's got those. He, I, I. That's from his back. He's got great guard and all that. I don't think that works on Dustin Poirier. Okay. Yeah. Now here's the thing, Dustin's been through wars. Charles Oliveira's been through fucking wars. He's been through wars too. O Oliveira's early in his career would quit. I'm gonna go with Dustin Poirier. Yeah, me too. You are. Yeah, I was trying to entice you to take <laughs> Charles. Damn. Why? I think I think, I think Dustin's just. I think Charles has a million ways to win. Yeah. But Dustin has the power, and as yeah. it gets in the fourth and fifth round, Dustin's gonna finish him. He's gonna clip him because he has power. Yeah. And Dustin's impossible to finish. Unless he's your name's Khabib. To, he's impossible to finish. And that's right. And he's impossible to finish. He's, and you know what? You know why I'm picking Dustin? He's tougher. Well, Dustin's going to be. And I, he is. I, and I don't he, see Dustin is, on his back. I see him and, on top of a And look at the resume of Dustin. He's fought everyone and won the majority of he's those seen fights. He's seen it all. He's mm. seen everything. It's just his time, too, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know, though. I don't know. Is it his time? Is it his time? Here's the difficult thing to say. He's, I believe he's been through some so even more crazy wars. I mean, then, then Oliver has taken so much damage. Damn. The Justin um, Gaethje, the Eddie Alvarez fights. Yeah, the, the the hooker fight, all that. He's just a beast, man. Um, he left a piece of himself in there against Max Holloway. Uh, yeah. Uh, Max Holloway, not a power puncher. No. Came up from 145. Yep. God bless Max for that. Yep. We go to Charles Oliveira. People forget how long he's been doing it, dude. See, he's been doing it. Oh, excuse me, sir, forever. Yeah, and I didn't, re I didn't realize. Oh, that. but so he's been I the UFC since that. 2010, 11 years. Wow, I didn't fucking know that. 11 years. Wow. And I remember he lost to Max Holloway. He lost to Pettis, who wow, back in Poirier the day. Beat. Look at this: lost to Frankie Edgar, lost to Max Holloway, lost to 
Ricardo Lamas. Now that was a different Oliveira. Now he's Paul a he's Felder. a he's a different animal. Yeah, all, all no slouches he lost to. Now it's hey, Chin, what's the what's the Vegas odds? What's DraftKings odds on this? If you, if you click on the boost tab bar, Brendan Shop picks, you can boost your odds. You gotta have uh it, it's a parlay, three man parlay. You got Dustin Poirier, Cody Garbrandt tied to Avasa to boost your odds. There it is. Scroll up. Scroll up right there. Minus one hundred sixty plus one forty. So Dustin's the f slight favorite there. Huh. That's that's surprising to me. Me too. Charles Olivier is the, More ways the to win. champion, and he's he just keeps getting better. He's the interim better. champion. He's perfect. Now, when should they just give that belt to Makachev? Israel Makachev? Should they just present we'll it We'll see to if him? Makachev gets through. Uh, 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 Benio Darius. Darius. Oh, Darius? He's Makachev's that new guy, newer listen guy. Me, listen to me right yeah, now. Yeah, Darius. Khabib's guy. Listen me. Yeah. He's going to he take, yeah, he's going to do, Darius is. Monster. Yeah, he's a monster. Number three in the world. Doesn't matter. His wrestling is, is no good here yeah. against Makachev. Yeah. Similar styles of wrestling. I think Darius has that Sambo, Greco. No, Darius is a jiu-jitsu guy. Black belt. I thought he was also like a. Uh -uh. Muay Thai. Really? Muay Thai and jiu -jitsu What about good. his, he, but he, he seems to do a lot of that suplexing and fucking upper body throws and stuff. It's jiu-jitsu stuff. Really? No, his background is jiu-jitsu. Yeah. No, uh, he's great, but yeah. Makachev is going to... Makachev is going to... No, I've watched Darius fight a lot. <laughs> I've watched Darius fight a lot. Yeah. See what his background is. I feel it's like... It's jiu-jitsu. He's, he's a, a world-class jiu -jitsu. World jiu jitsu But also wrestling. Wasn't he? Didn't he do any wrestling? Grappling. Hmm. But his, I don't think he has like a... Especially compared to Makachev. I, I feel like he did, Baba. I feel like he... He's born and raised in Iran. Iran. Yeah, so that, that was right. So so when you're an Iranian, you come up under that that wrestling system. He did. He's been wrestling. No, no, he's he hasn't. Been, no, he hasn't. No, he I, hasn't. Bubba, I promise no, you, he he's been doing did. a lot of wrestling. He started jiu-jitsu. He began training in jiu-jitsu. He earned his black belt in five years, which is insane. Right. Decorated competitor. Became a no-gi world champion as a blue, purple, and brown belt. I understand. I think, though, and I heard them talking, that he had wrestled. He had started as a wrestler, though, in Iran. I believe that's the, that's true. Does it say that, Chin? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm it almost, doesn't say anything of that. I'm almost positive that I heard. I, I know he got started in martial arts with jiu-jitsu. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. But I think that he but, came hey, up Bubba, as a Bubba, wrestler. He didn't. His no? background is jiu-jitsu. His yeah. specialty is jiu-jitsu. Yeah. World-class jiu-jitsu guy, dude. Yeah. Fell in love with wrestling when you started college later that year. Jiu-jitsu. Oh, okay, so... Uh, fell in love with wrestling. Yeah, when he was young in Iran, when he was trained. Didn't by, say that. By when he was trained by, it says by Khabib's father. Wow. <laughs> Does it? I think he's trout for wrestling. So in high school, Dears played soccer. Near the end of his senior, year, he took advice from a friend, Trout for wrestling. He fell in love with wrestling when he started college later. He sought out Bra Brazilian jiu-jitsu, uh -huh. and then just started doing yeah. jiu-jitsu. No, wrestling, no wrestling background. Wrestling is in my blood. <laughs> Now, the Iranian now B, here's the, here's the, this is the blood. thing that's tough. <laughs> this is the thing when we break down fights. Yeah. You know what you're talking about? So it's a little <laughs> no, no, tough. I do know what I'm talking it's about. It's a little tough. Because you assume <laughs> yeah. because he's from Iran. Yeah. That's Darius. like assuming because he's from Brazil, he just does, that's, just does jiu-jitsu. That's exactly right. Or because he's everyone in because he's Korean, everyone, he knows karate. Everyone in Korea has done Taekwondo. Yes. Everyone in Brazil has done yeah, there you go. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I love yeah. how you'll die on that hill, though. You gotta die. You go, you go all the time. You gotta dig in. But you, you, you know what it is? It's a hill of bullshit. <laughs> all right. I was a little and off. And I have my I'm, master's. It's the funniest thing. He's like, I, was I little swear off on Darius. I heard it. I was a little off on Darius. Yeah, well, so anyway. He's gonna have his hands full. He's gonna have his hands full. Again, he's fucking head. tough, though, dude. Yeah, he's tough. Darius is so fucking tough. Striking power, definitely an advantage. Submissions, um, definitely an advantage. Submissions? Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do those guys do? Those what do those Dagestanis do? I know, I'm telling you. But what are those this isn't like, hey, what do you think, Brett? I'm telling you, man. But what are as far as submission goes, Darius has better submissions. As far as grappling, yeah. As far as that, the, like their Dagestan wrestling, that yeah. sambo, yeah, yeah, dude, he's gonna eat but, them but, alive. But they're able to somehow get on top of you and neutralize. They control because they, they control, control your hips. They control everything. Fuck. They they just break you, dude. and then they just rain elbows. Nuts. So they go, your jujitsu, that's all cool. It doesn't work here. They destroy. I'm gonna hold your hips to they the ground destroy. and punch. Do you remember in Samba? There's submissions, so they they know the setups. It's all transition. So they're just stopping they you. Eat you they eat it alive, dude. They eat it alive. So before you're moving, they're not letting you move your He's hips. Seven ste steps ahead of you. Even if you know, I want to. You know what? I, I I, I'd be curious see? though if Darius gets a hold of his ankle or something like that, mm. like the knee bars and ankles. That could mm. be a little dicey. But they're Sambos. I, I would have loved to have seen. I feel like Jake Shields against one of those Dag the Dagestani guys. I think he did roll with those guys back in the day. 
He, and what he cares about. I want. I, I feel like he was so dominant as a grappler in general. Mm -hmm. And you think Jake would take down the Dagestinians? Or you think he would submit him from his back? <laughs> okay. Shut up! Here's the thing, Jake. Shut up! Jake's never been on his back. He doesn't usually get on his back. He's good from the top. Yeah. So how? How? So I. I love Jake. Yeah. How would Jake take him down, Brian? Okay, so it's a different game now. He might be. I'm just saying. He's gonna submit him off his back now. Well, I guess he wouldn't take. I don't think. I don't know if you're taking the Dagestanis down. You're not. They the, have the, you know. You know. You know who could do it? The guy who who could fuck with them, especially in his prime, Tony Ferguson. You think so? Oh yeah. Not takedowns. Off his back. Off his Very back. dangerous. Yeah. Elbows. Those make those. That's a different game. Yeah. Tony Ferguson's a monster with elbows off his back. His yeah. submissions, his guards filthy. It's unique. Yeah. Because the Eddie Bravo system. So it's stuff they're not used to. Who, who a, guy, a guy like Brian Ortega could be a problem for a guy like Khabib. Who who held uh somebody took Tony Ferguson though and held him on his back and pounded him. Was Kevin it, Lee. It, it was also wasn't it also uh, our boy um Charles Oliveira beat the shit out of Tony yeah, Ferguson. That's right. But that's you know Tony's long in the tooth, man. In his long prime, long when long when he won like ten in a row, yeah. When when they were trying to make the Khabib fight, yeah. when it was like prime Tony Ferguson, dude, one of the best one fifty five ers walked 100%, in the fucking earth. One hundred percent, monster, fucking monster, terrifying. <sighs> well, we got no bet because we got the same picks. Boy, MMA doesn't give a fuck about you, huh? The minute, I, let they, me. They cut Kevin Lee. Yeah, did they through cut an him? email? Oh come on. Mm -hmm. That's so disrespectful, man. Is that not the way to do it? I mean, Kevin that's how Lee. I. That's I mean, when I retired, they sent me email said, "Hey, I remember yeah, that. Cool, I, it, we still own you. It if was you come so back, we own unceremonious. Your oh, really? Oh, they don't. So but remember, but my thing, I was in a fight with. Them. I know. So they were. Kevin like, Get Lee, the fuck man. Out. Kevin Lee was so game. He always gave uh. great fights, man. Last like fuck. five out of his last seven, though. I know, but it's just like I know. It's the game. It's the game. It's pro sports, dude. It's the, it's the game. Yeah, it's what you signed it's up the for. Game. Just, hey. And then get, guys get butt hurt, but it's like it's fucking cut. That's the ter that's the territory. Cut also, though, there is something about MMA that I think is undeniable. Something happens. You can be so fucking great, and you suffer one loss, and and father time. Something happens. Father time goes. It's, it's a bad loss. It's, it's time. It's, it's time. To, it's tricky. Time. Well, like Tim yeah. Kennedy was in many ways the toughest human being I've ever seen in my fucking life. Still is. And never got tired and just was like insane. He be, he basically beat you, Al Romero. And then he fought Kevin Gastelum. And I think at that point, it was like Father Time was like, okay, we're done now. Damn. We're done now. And yeah. He was like, oh, he looked like a different credit, guy against Kevin yeah. Gastelum. And to his credit, he was like, okay. I'm yeah, done. you're like, where is, what happened? Yeah. He just, just wasn't as into it anymore. His head, he had other things going on. He was doing other things. Yeah. Like fighting for our freedom. That's correct. And you're welcome. That's correct. And you're welcome. Wait, how long was he in the U.S.? So how, about Luke Rockhold, Force, how about Luke Rockhold beating him in Strike Force? Oh, that was a great fight. Fuck. Jesus. Monster. Yeah, he's a beast. Damn. Dude, Monster. then Hodger Gracie had his back. He had Hodger Gracie's back. Tim's a freak, man. He's I love that dude. He's a freak. All right, Jim, what do you got for us? All righty. So we talked about this in depth for the past few weeks about China having these uh, protocols in place with social media and young people where they can only see like a certain amount of a certain type of content before they start veering them off into something more educational. Awesome. And Instagram is actually taking this into place for people who sign up under uh, like a certain age restriction. Yeah. So if you're under the age of 18, there are new uh, protocols being put into place where if you spend too much time on a certain topic, Instagram will then veer you off into something a little more educational. Or yeah, something. but can't the kids just put in there they're like 22 when they sign up for it? Yeah, anyone can do that. That's gonna, all. Yeah, That's all right. Thing. This is just uh, them protecting their ass. Yeah, so and I think a lot of it is also trying to protect uh, young influencers. Like a lot of the kids who came up from TikTok, a lot of them are still minors. Yeah. So you can no longer tag or DM a minor who is not following you anymore. Because... A big issue with young influencers were like a lot of people, like yeah, adults would like, were just yeah, slide in trying to DM. Well, I was kids. I was watching yeah. the uh, People's Choice Awards last night, and uh, they had like all these celebrities there. Then yeah. that Charlie, what's her name? Demilio. Demilio. Dude, yeah. she has fifty million followers on TikTok. Think on TikTok, I think it's like over a hundred million. Right last million? night they said fifty million. Fifty I'm, million. I think it's on Instagram. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they She's said huge. on there. My buddy, but you, but the, like they're interviewing your buddy's not her. But the thing is, when they're they're in, in 127 million followers, think about the power that kid has. 17, 
But they're interviewing, you know, like oh my God, The Rock, yes. all yeah. these huge celebrities. Yeah. And they get to her, and they, you know, they're they're giving off everybody's accolades, and they get to her and like 127 million followers, and it's like, that's currency now in Hollywood. Like, what skills does this girl have? Uh, she seconds. got popular because she is a dancer. She's, uh, a, she but she's a legit up, like, dancer, right? Yeah, she grew up dancing, that's and then she started I, that's, posting yeah. uh, videos of her dancing on TikTok for fun, and that's how she got famous. And, that, and, and she has a sister that's also who uh, sings. Sings. Yeah. Yeah, they had a documentary about them on they Hulu. They have a Hulu uh, show. Yeah, yeah, the Hulu they have show, the whatever. Yeah. Hulu show. It's pretty sad. I mean, it, like that shit like eats them up. Like the because they're kids. Because yeah, they. I mean, yeah. yeah, naturally they read all that shit. That's like the Dude, bad shit. But one hundred twenty-seven million followers. Let's yeah. say one percent. Give you hate. Yeah. That's a lot. But for like a to kid. a kid, mm -hmm. that'd have fucked them up. To us, it's I like, mean, they're millionaires from so Crimea River. But the thing yeah. is, is it's just weird. I was watching it and it's all these celebrities, like talented actors. Mm -hmm. And they're like 127 million followers. And like, okay. I just think I It's think, such a weird like the, uh, it, the dynamic in so Hollywood weird. is I was just watching, like, it's so fucking. Well, they, weird, they had man. they had the, what the, they what, have the rock there who's like you know, yeah. super fucking. But, but yeah. there's a whole subculture now. So all these mobsters that are now getting out of jail after twenty years, twenty five years. Like you know what they're shit? doing? They're all doing podcasts. They're they're all doing they're all they have like YouTube channels and they have huge <laughs> following. The well, it's, of their it's, stories, it's so though. interesting. Go, go away. You killed nineteen people, cool. Go away. He puts John Gotti away. Yeah, man. And then and he then comes back. He's telling stories. People love him. Dude, he's tell he's one of the best storytellers I've ever heard. He was telling a story about how they got this guy John John um, doesn't matter. Yeah, Johnny Lee, Johnny Lee, who sure. was head of their. There was a war going on. Uh -huh. uh, one family, I think, the Genovese and the Gambinos. They couldn't get to him because he was surrounded by thirty dudes. So he says, so he goes in and he goes, tell Mama Punk, and I want to bring a message from Paul Castellano. So he goes into this diner, and the guys are knocking him out of their 30 guys. Just a hey, tough guy. And he said, look, if you go there and you say that Paul wants to meet him, they don't believe you. They're going to take you down in that basement. They're going to torture you. Yeah. And, and, you know, so it's all this stuff. Long story short, he gets the guy. And this guy, Johnny, Johnny Lee, who was like the hitman's hitman. And he, was, he ran this whole crew. And if they killed him, they knew the war would be over. They'd win the war. So long story short, he Sammy the Bull has to pretend he's a, he's a total he, like he's a, he's just like can I get some water? I'm so nervous. I just I'm just trying to give you the message. You know, I just want to know he's, he's acting this. He goes he goes he just wants to meet you somewhere. You pick the spot, but he wants to do it alone. They go meet at a country club, uh, the country club I belong to. Great. They got a van waiting. He goes I'm gonna walk when I go by the van. I'm gonna stutter step. I'm gonna get like a couple inches. I'm gonna bear hug him. Open that fucking door. I'm gonna pull him in. And then hold him down, drive time, off. time, drive him off. Long story short, they get him, and the fucking guy's sitting there, and he looks at him, and he's like this. He goes, "Unbelievable, punk, huh? You're the you're the messenger boy, huh? You had me going, you had me going, Sammy." And he goes, "Hey, it is what it is." And then he goes, "Now he had to wait to get a call, the okay to kill him, and it was going to be if if he hit the side of the van once, he's let him go. Twice, I got to kill you. Ooh. So now, so these guys are all killers, right?" And the dude, the dude is sitting there like this. And he's, remember, he has 50 bodies to hit this guy that he's got. And he goes like this. He goes, hey, jerk off. And Sammy goes, what? He goes, cover the back window. He goes, what do you mean? He goes, because there are a bunch of truckers here. If they look in the back window, they're going to see me tied up and they're going to call the cops. I'm not going out that way. You don't want to go out that way. Cover the back oh, window. Oh, wow. So Sammy the Bull goes, what a gangster. This motherfucker is telling me how to do a hit. He goes, oh, wow. he goes, oh, he goes my God. So Sammy the Bull goes, this Real guy's gangster. a fucking gangster. He had respect right? for him. Yeah. Now, now he goes. He goes. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, what fuck. kind of a guy do I have here? Yeah. And then he goes like this. He goes. They start talking, and he goes. He goes. Uh, he goes. Sammy, do me a favor. In my pocket, there's a. I got pills. You got to put one under my tongue. And the guy goes. Sammy goes. Why? And he goes. I got pains in my chest. It's nitroglycerin. I don't want to die by heart attack. I'm not going out like that. I look like a bitch. Jesus put it under my Christ. fucking tongue. So Sammy goes. And he knows he these guys are like. <laughs> Gonna kill him. It gets better. Puts it under his fucking tongue mm. like that. And and he goes like that. Now, if I don't get better in five minutes, put another one under my tongue. You got me? You hear me? Listen to me. So Sammy's like, oh, this motherfucker. You got this it, is, man. This fucking motherfucker. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Then he goes like this. Then he goes like this. He looks at me and he goes, you're one of us. He goes, goes And then he goes like this. He goes, I can make you a rich man. You let me go. You know that, right? And Sammy goes, I got too much respect for you right now. Don't do that. And he goes, I'm not. I was just testing you. Oh, wow. Ooh. He goes, I was just testing you. He goes, good. No money, right? Not, a, not, not all the money in the world. He goes, not all the money in the world. He goes, good boy. Then he goes like this. Then he goes like this. He gets a boom, boom. 
no, no. He hear, they hear walking, but nobody's banging on the truck. And he, yeah. goes, he goes, if it's a cop, shoot that fucker. Shoot him. I want to see him die before I go. Jesus. Wow. So, so now Sam is like, what kind of a motherfucker do I have here? Yeah. What kind of a motherfucker? Badass. He gets the bang. Boom, the double boom. tap. He, knows, he, goes, he goes, you lost the decision. At this point, it's been 13 hours. He got him coffee, 13 hours. Jesus Christ. He goes, so they're I, hanging out. Yeah, he goes, I, I love this man. He goes, this man embodied everything about Cousin Nostra that I could ever think of. He goes, I fell in love with this guy. And, and I, Did and he I, fuck him? And he goes like this, basically. <laughs> and he goes like this. He goes, he goes like this. He goes, you lost the decision, bro. I got to kill you. And he goes, can you do me a favor? And he goes, anything. And he goes, take my shoes off. When, I don't want them to find me with my shoes on. He goes, why? He goes, oh, I always told my, my wife I'd die with my shoes off, meaning I'd die at home with my shoes off. She thought I'd die like a dog in the street. And that's the way it is. She knows this life. Jesus but I told her. Christ. And, and Sammy goes, done, done. So he takes his shoes off for him. And then they try to drag him out. He goes, get your fucking hands off him. Get your fucking hands off him. He goes, he goes John, you want, you, want, you want to roll out yourself? And he goes, yeah, let me roll out myself. And he goes, he goes, and he introduced him. He goes, he's one of ours. He's a made guy. His name was uh, uh, Ray Alito or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Ray's gonna be. Ray's gonna shoot you. He's gonna. He's gonna do the killing. So he goes. He introduces him. Like it's all formal. Jesus Christ. And he goes, do me a favor. Just walk about four four feet into the uh, weeds. Duck your head, and he's gonna kill you. Just like that. And the guy goes, all right, good boy. Keep your head out of trouble. And just fucking shot him in the head. Just took his took four steps. Bent his head. Boom. And then they shot him three more times. And they found him with his shoes off. Jesus Christ. Bro, he tells these stories where you're life. just like, of course, what a yeah. fucking life. That is and fucking And he talks amazing. about getting made. He talks about the, the, the getting made. Like the whole he goes, ceremony? He goes, he goes have, put on a white shirt, a tie, and your best suit, and meet me on this corner. Now, here's the problem with that. You sometimes, might be killed. Yeah. Sometimes you think you're getting made, and you're never coming back. What an exciting life. So it's out of the life. best day of your life, the worst day of your life. Exciting and, life, but never yeah. ends well for anybody. Down, they go down to the fucking, they go down the basement. Paul Castellano is there, the head of the Gambino crime family, and all the other made guys. And they're all sitting there, and he goes, you know these people? And he goes, yeah. He goes, and he goes you swear this is a secret society where Cosa Nostra, what finger do you, do you pull the trigger with? He points at that. They burn the finger. They do some ritual in Italian. He says all these Italian words. Then they all hold hands, and they, they do some weird, like, I don't know, some talk. And he goes... Now, from now on, and then they go through a list of what's, what, what is constitutes the death penalty. If you raise your hand to a friend of ours, meaning another made guy, you die. If you introduce yourself, to somebody else as a made guy to somebody who's not, you, you, that's the death Jesus penalty. Jesus Christ. So you have to be introduced by somebody else who's made to somebody else who's made. It, it, it's fucking Tricky rules. It's cool. That man. is fucking oh, crazy. Dude. Well, you can see how some guys get, the, the, the oh life God, is... Well, even, even the head of uh, the, the guy, he was the youngest uh, head of the Hells Angels chapter. The young, he's 22. Wow. Dude, he, he was telling a story. Again, he's, he did prison like eight years. He came out, doesn't fuck with it anymore, does all this like, again, podcasting and like he talks to businesses and stuff. He's like a real leader. That's yeah. how he mm -hmm. got in that position. Yeah, smart guy. Dude, he was talking about, the guy was asking him what, what he got pinched for. And he said, I was, I was dating this girl. He was like, and she was the love of my life. But he's like, I was a Hell's Angel. Was the, lead, the youngest chapter ever. Like, I had ladies. And she didn't want to be there. And that's fine. He's like, but me and her stayed very tight. And he goes, and then uh, her parents owned the bar that we'd hang out in. She started dating this guy. He started beating her up. He's like, and people know me. And dude, he's ready for this. He's the leader of the Hell's Angels. He's 6'3", 290 pounds. Okay, well, that's, Not fat. Yeah, that's he's, a problem. There he is. That's the guy? Yeah, he's that's jacked. Go ahead, dude, bring him up when he's younger. He's jacked. Yeah. Huge. So the, he goes, and he goes, so people oh, knew I was the head of the, oh, there he is. Holy fuck. So he, goes, so he goes, people knew I was the leader of the Hells Angels, and they go, they tell the boyfriend, go, hey, man, you know that's like Mel's ex-girl. Like, he finds out you're fucked. And he goes, oh, he's not going to do shit. So he's, he was really close with the parents. He went over to, like, bring him food or something because he was always really nice to him. Goes to bring him food. She walks in the door, and her orbital's broken. Her face is all busted up. And he goes, oh, hell no. Are you kidding me? He goes, you got to quit fucking with this guy. So uh, the next day, he calls her to check in on her. He didn't know the boyfriend was in the car. She has him on speaker, and he's like, hey, I just want to make sure you're all right. And the boyfriend goes, don't fucking call. I got a bullet with your name on it. He goes, okay, okay, tough guy. Hangs up the phone. He tells his two boys, he's like, we got to go over there. Yeah. They go, they, so they entice him over there somehow. Like She like sets him up. He goes over there. They're there. They walk out of the back room. They tie him up. So first of all, he goes, well, he tried to fight me. And the guy goes, how big were you at the time? He goes, 6'3", 290. 
Yeah. He goes, so it didn't end well for me. He goes, and I can, and he goes, and I can fight. He goes, and I can fight. So he had his hands full there. He goes, eventually he gives up. We tie him down. He goes, and that's when the boys took a baseball bat to him. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Well, that look at him. Look well, at him. Well, look at him. Yeah. That's why. That's well, yeah. Insane. That's a thick kid. That that's why you don't fuck with the Hell's Angels or a group of you know, an organization. A, a, an organized group the hell's angel thing so tempting you don't get to in me. i know you don't get i just in. couldn't be I, I couldn't enforce anything and they'd force me to like beat guys no, in i don't want to do I, that i can't do anything like if a guy was like hi hey, man I, you know, I have to pay for my kids shoes i'm like all right i'll be not, back not, next not week for us. no it's yeah. not it's not i can't live that life the anxiety at night and shit not for us and he was talking about that like he was talking about the some of the shooters some of the guys that used to run in the thing it'd be this tiny skinny little old man and you're like, that guy? It's like, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's Sociopath. a big guy. He'll yeah. shoot you and kill you. It's a big difference. It's so strange, that yeah. lifestyle, man. His, he's got, it's called Our Thing. It's a podcast. Uh -huh. and it's really well produced. Millions of subscribers. Oh, they make yeah. so much money. Michael Frances, same thing. Michael Frances. What is, called, wait, what, what is he, the podcast called? What's really fascinating about it, it's called Our Thing. Our. It's fucking good with Sammy the Bull because I used to. F I know. Uh, I remember him. I remember him. I remember yeah. back in. The we New should York. get that Mel guy on this podcast. We should get Sammy the Bull on this fucking okay. podcast. He's well, in Arizona. He's yeah. in. Yeah. He's got great. He's yeah. just. We should also get Brad Pitt. Pitt but yeah. He would do it. Yeah. I bet you'd come on. Maybe. Sammy the Bull. Fuck I bet yeah. we get Mel, the Hell's Angel guy. I'd love to. That'd I'd be that'd to. be dope. Their merch is so lit. Yeah. I mean, you yep. can't just wear it. And don't but. be copying. <laughs> don't copy it. Don't copy it. Don't pay yeah. it. a little visit. I had a friend, I know, you, I, you told me about I it. I had a friend copy it. They yeah. cut him on the street. Yeah, he didn't yeah. sell it anymore. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. No, it's not oh, that dude, they're, they're, remember, there's like lawyers who are Hell's Angels. Like, uh -huh. they got it tied yeah, 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 down. Got it. And depending on where you're at, like, if you are uh, if you ride a motorcycle and you wear a cut, it has to be, like, approved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently, when you Hell's and I Angels did a show worldwide. in San Francisco, it, like, a lot of them were there. Yeah, what would you say, Brian? You and I did a show in San Francisco, and apparently a Dude, lot I did of them the were one there. in Indianapolis years ago, and they're all in the front row. That's awesome. I was making fun of them because I didn't see the Hell's Angel patches. Yeah, you, yeah. And I was making fun of them saying, oh, it's Sons of Anarchy rejects it. You know? Oh, no. They were sorry. laughing. No, they were laughing. Oh, okay. But they had the VIP meet and greet. Oh, nice. They came in, they're like, we own the, the strip club down the road, the, the baby bird. We're going to feed the baby birds. Yeah. Remember that? And I was like, that. okay, I'll see you there. Yep. And Jay's like, we're not fucking going there. <laughs> but, you know, I love Hell's Angels, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, they're, that whole thing, that so whole, Michael Francesa was talking about, and, and, and one of the things that Sammy the Bull was talking about was he learned from his mentor that violence is always the last resort. Like, he would be like, I don't know, let's just send the young guys over there and beat the shit out of that guy. And he's like, no, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you gotta, that's a bad you, idea. God yeah. gave you two ears to hear both sides yeah. before you do that shit. That's, all how, that's also how you get in trouble. Of course. That's yeah. a yeah. idea. Of course. They're they're not, yeah, they're not trying to be like, like, And the other wild. thing is Michael no, Francesi. No, they're business Michael guys. They'd be successful in anything. Michael Francesi, who was the maid guy and the captain, did 10 years. And he, he comes out, and they were saying, I heard that uh, such and such killed, uh, had over 100 bodies. And he goes like this. He goes, there weren't even 100 guys. There were 100 and 13 guys in the yeah, entire Columbo family. Where are these bodies? Yeah. Yeah. When people say that, they don't know what the fuck yeah. they're talking about. Yeah, five, fucking, people is a, five people talking is a shitload shit. of people. Yeah. Five? It's you're a serial lot. killer. Yeah. Five is a, a shitload. Killer. If you're a mafia guy and you killed five, if you did work as they call it, that's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. What else you got, Jen? So I saw this clip on Barstool of uh, a college basketball player from Tennessee trying to make a, sh a score and <laughs> win the game, but it goes terribly wrong. <laughs> to get Grant to lose weight, so he had him on a treadmill. He ate all his food while he was on the treadmill. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, he he, he, uh, he got yeah. so roasted. I bet. For yeah, that. he got roasted. Let me see it again. Did, what happened? Did he have a? Did he have a? Yeah, what? Yeah, like, like he pulled a hamstring. I don't yeah, know. He, he just didn't make it. <laughs> he just didn't. Something happened. You know, something. it's nice you have a short circuit. Yeah. Like that, uh, did it say something happened to him? Like, he, did he hurt his leg? or my friend, No, nothing was wrong with him. Nothing Jimmy, was wrong with him? Jimmy, it looks like something happened. Right? It looks like he pulled something yeah, like Yeah, it looked like he was like, oh, something. shit. Jimmy Burke told me about his buddy who's a good athlete, and they get in a fight. They're on the softball field. Uh, yeah. They're in the softball. They're playing softball in fucking Central Park. And uh, his buddy Harry gets in a fight, and I guess Harry kind of saw <laughs> He's this big Irish guy, and he went to punch the guy, and he went like this. He went, he 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 was awkward, and he was like, and he he went ah, and he just kind of threw his wrist and, and like that, and in the middle of the fight, somebody was like, "What kind of punch is that? You fucking idiot!" You know, you can have a short circuit at the wrong yeah. time. Yeah, it's not a good fucking. So, yeah, a little muscle spasm maybe. As long as probably had a fucking. You know what I mean? It's okay. We got to do it the other day. 
We had, like, had a lot several, of fisting. We had, yeah, had a lot of daps. So CNN it? news anchor, uh, what's his name? Don, Don Lemon. Lemon. Don Lemon. Don Lemon was recently accused by Jesse Smollett while he was on trial that uh, Don Lemon gave Jesse the heads up, hey, police officers no, before in trial. Chicago. Before yeah, trial. before the trial. But when, the trial when they're just investigating happened. it. Yeah, the trial just happened. Jesse had, he had to a friend uh, in confess the this Chicago for the first time. Police department goes, hey, just want you to know they're not buying your story. Yeah. yeah. Which is interesting. I wonder well, if CNN's going to do anything. So like sometimes that. a journalist, yeah. though, wants the story. So they'll chum up to the guy. Uh, no, 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 no. They're friends. Uh, they were friends mm -hmm. previous yeah. to this. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. Jesse uh, had I, talked I mean, about this on the stand, is that bad? I believe, yesterday. But is that bad? I'm not a huge fan of Don Lemon, but is that bad? I mean, According they to all suck. You know. CNN and their people, yes. All those like, CNN, I love CNN yeah, guys. I love the Justice that You know what he's doing now, right? What? He's doubling down and saying. He's so fucked. Do you see the, the cross prosecution? No. They lit him up. Really? Destroyed him. He's really? fucked. He's like, by the way, no, I. They lured me. They said to come get. Wait, in. he's still saying. Yeah, but he said they lured. Yeah, me but and the they cross prosecution the went through his DMs where they. So they did a rehearsal before. So when he was like, it was a random act. They have all the DMs lining it up. He dying on this hill. He's well, dying, but then, but then those, to. you know, the two brothers, the swollen yeah, ones. Yeah. Because they went against him, he just threw them on the bus. He's like, "Well, me and that one jacked off together." And he's like, "I'm not gay." He's like, "Bullshit." Me and that guy jacked <laughs> off together. <laughs> he, he we're at Chicago Bathhouse. He, he's like, "No, what the he's fuck?" He's like, out, "Yeah, bitch." He's just out yeah. people. <laughs> he's like, "No, I'm not gay." He's like, no, "Whatever, gay, dude. No, Remember you're that? Just, you're a little gay." Yeah. A little gay. yeah, apparently Jesse was really frustrated when he was on the stand to the point where he started to. Uh, tell the lawyer like, oh, you don't even know anything about Instagram when they were bringing up his DMs with the brothers. He's like, you don't even know how that works. And he's just getting really, really- He was real hostile. Yeah. It this makes is, him look this so is bad. A true narcissist. This, this is, this this is, is a, fucking insane. This is a true narcissist who thinks he can get away with anything. It's just so weird, man. That's it's fucking like, What's crazy. weird is he, 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 was com he wanted to get more notoriety for the show. Do you yeah. see how much he was getting paid? How much? 18 episodes. He's making like, I think at it was a big the show. last season, it was 18 episodes. He's making like- uh, I forget what, like 120 grand an episode, 18 episodes? Yeah. That's really good. Does he ever work again? No. No. No, no. No. No, no one fucks with him. No. I mean, what are we doing? So what's he do? A guy like this. Broadway. Chill. No, I don't, know. I don't think Chill. Broadway would fuck <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, like, you know, the off, off Broadway. <coughs> oh, okay. I think reality show, he'd probably do a reality I, show. I think, I think yeah, uh, in I five years, yeah. in five years, 10 years. It'll go away. I don't think he's talented enough. If he was more talented, I think he'd be all right. But it is so weird, man. His whole family. And if he had is said, all full if of he had his said, sister's a yeah, killer. Yeah, yeah. His sister's so good. amazing. Yeah, if, so he, good. if he had yeah. said something to the effect of, Journey? "Yeah, you know yeah. what? I yeah. did it. I hate Trump that much that I did it, and I stand by it." Hollywood be, support him. Yeah, people yeah, would just be like, own up. Just oh, own we up get to it. You were trying to, you were trying to fuck him. That, that's you. You were trying to go. It was an act of war. It's the lying. Yeah, it's it's better to just own up to be like, "Hey, that's what the fuck I did." Wow. It was weird though when they were reading the DMs and he says the N word in the DMs and the white prosecutor said yeah. the N word. Yep. Jesse's like, can you not say that word? He's like, sorry. I had to spell it out. The white prosecutor's like, what are you doing, dude? No, don't say the N word. Man. I know. What <laughs> it's so strange. He's just helping small it out. Yeah. It was dumb. He's fucked though. By fucked, I mean he's going to get probation and it just his career's fucked. He's not going to do Yeah, that. like he's not, no, good, he's not he doing He might that's do not some jail time, do. but that's not. I don't, really? It's a, it's, it's a, it would seem like he Maybe would. like yeah, six months. It's disorderly conduct for making the cops yeah. go through all this it's shit. It's a felony. Yeah, a felony. That yeah. line and yeah. Yeah. So, but I guess he, yeah, he probably won't do time. I don't think so. But it's just that public His career is shaming. Screwed, yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. like, fuck. Man. man, that's crazy. He's dying on that hill, though. <laughs> it's hilarious. Then he's just like, man, you gay. <laughs> The guy was like, what the fuck? No, nah, man. We jacked off, dog. He's like, yeah, we jacked each other off in that bathhouse. He's like, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. When, when your parents say tell the truth, man, that, that's probably the best advice they could ever give. Oh, you. yeah. You start lying, you got to remember your fucking lies. Yep. You got to remember your lies. You got to remember. Well, this one's tough when you're the only one lying. The other two are in cahoots with you. Are and so, and so they, ba lying. they basically were like, uh, yeah, we... Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like, we did a rehearsal before. He wrote them Here's a the check. DMs. Here's the check. Here's this in oh, they the even convenience have the store. They have all buying this the news. Shit. Yeah, he's still he's like, so, fuck that. He's <laughs> so fucking dumb. He's so stupid. He's also just dumb. It just shows you his lack of intelligence doubling 100%. down. Now. Poor guy. Yeah, because Chicago prosecutors haven't seen this before. I mean, it still Chicago? goes up to a jury, but a jury is going to be like, I mean. But like you said, yeah, you said the cops like immediately, like once they were like. They know real shit. Yeah, they're like, get like, the fuck uh, out of here. 
Oh, well, the off the bat, the cops like, mm. yeah, Chicago and then they cops? said he left the noose on his neck when they came to the house. Like, we have the noose on. And then he said a friend of him <laughs> told him to leave it on. Hey, you could leave it on. Because the dog. cops like, anybody who went through this traumatic thing is not going to leave a noose around their neck. Yeah. No. You'd you had it on for take hours. Hours. Just walking around. Yeah. That, I saw a picture of it. I was like, it's, oh, my God, you're so My favorite is the note that he wrote. Yeah, that was the great. It's so hilarious. And the fact that he put MAGA on it. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> People are crazy. Do you yeah, guys remember the original story he said that happened too? He said he was on his way to Subway, Subway. in the middle of the night, like 1 a.m. in Chicago during a polar vortex. That's, that's what I'm saying. Right. He walked crazy. to Subway. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. And that's where it happened. And remember, he brought the sandwich back to his apartment <laughs> after the struggle, <laughs> after the fight. He the actually had the sandwich at his apartment. Yeah. See, cops are just, those cops are just so used to that. They're like, hold on, let me put... Let's just do a little paint by The cops are like, yeah, you still got a full foot long meatball, huh? <laughs> yeah. They made it all the way here? You got the noose around your neck? Okay. Did you yeah. put it down while you are being attacked? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, he, then Jesse was like, I, I don't say white because that's not fair. They were pale skinned. Mm, is that what he said? Yeah. Well, those, yeah, those brothers, uh, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't use pale skin as a... I'd as use a, any other... Any other one. Any other adjective any other, to describe yeah. them than pale. That's right. Any yeah. other description. What else you got, Jen? Uh, so a TikTok of Sam Smith and his friends on a night out is going viral because I guess this girl right here is a fan and she saw Sam Smith walking by with a group of his friends. She decides to run out from the restaurant she was eating in to say hi and tell him that she's a big fan. When she runs out, she's already recording and she says, Sam Smith, I love you. And one of his friends says, shut up, you bum bitch, and tries to knock her phone down. <laughs> Which then she is stunned by this interaction. Like, wait, I just wanted to tell him I love him. In a different video, she then posted as a follow-up. It seems like Sam Smith is in the background saying shut up to her while she's telling him, like, no, don't tell me to shut up. I love you. Oh, wow. So he's getting a lot of backlash online for this. Hmm. Sam Smith! <laughs> also, she's like running up. I mean. Mm -hmm. Why do you gotta record Smith, this? I love you. Yeah. Come on. Shut the fuck up, you bum bitch. Hey. Take your video off. What the fuck? Take it off. Take it off. What the hell fuck? I just went to say hi. Why did she, she still food has in her food mouth? in her mouth, yeah. Fuck? Yeah, she got food in her mouth. She looks annoying, too. But, like, also, like, running also, up like that. Also, like, that chill. is kind of obnoxious. Yeah. Yay, don't tell me to shut up. I love you, Sam Smith. But also, how do you know he's saying shut up? Did it sound you like he was saying shut up? They're you know, speculating just, that it's him, but you can't really see those you words coming no, out. Yeah, those, it's it, not. It, I, yeah. The fucking guy's walking and some crazy person comes up. And so some of one of his friends might have been drunk. Yeah. And was joking around. Shut up, you dumb bum. I don't know. Also, I don't know. He's at a pub with his friend. Yeah. I mean, trying to She's doing that selfie thing with him. That's, that is that's so like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you're just like, yeah. yo, 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 like, yo, hey, yo, ask me. Yeah. Like, what were you? You're making it about yourself. Yeah, what's the plan then? Yeah. She seems like a nice gal, but I mean. Okay. No, she seems annoying. <laughs> yeah, she no, seems she's super annoying. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's she's like a dumbass. She's definitely capitalizing yeah, so off of it because she started doing TikTok trends afterwards. Oh, like, wow. like exactly. Exactly. The, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> so, to get followers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Right. Forget that girl. Give us one more, Chang. Give us a good one. Let me see here. Um, mm. There's not really that. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This Vegas restaurant is giving um, a dinner away as well as a Rolex watch. And I don't know if you know this particular model, but it's uh, mm -hmm. Rolex GMT Master II yeah, Batman. It's sick Batman. So it's uh, black and blue. Yeah. Can I see a picture? I did pull it up before. Yeah. Especially a I mean, Batman. I saw different ones that are even more expensive. That's, that's it right there? Type, no, type in uh, Batman GMT. I did. Um, Two tone? Yeah. And it brought in the gold. No, it's blue and black. There's there one it like is, this. right there. That one. That's it, oh, right there. That's sweet oh, as fuck. Yeah, there's How much is that? Well, there's one here that's nine nine thousand. No, that one has uh, yeah, diamonds on one? it. No. Listen, anybody who puts diamonds on a Rolex is a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> they lose value. Uh huh. I believe. <clears throat> do they? they yeah. Do? Yeah. Cause why? Because Rolex doesn't add. Why is that? But diamond bezels. Why is that? Be, how much 41? is that used? Uh, not cheap. Not they don't right? Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's probably used right there. 20 grand probably used right there. Long period. Brand new, what, I mean, 40-something. What's, what's the top notch of the Rolex? Uh, is, some of the Daytonas are probably the most expensive right Those now. are, okay, those are the high ends. Somebody, yeah, they're like 100 grand, right, Daytonas? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at that black one. Like I like that. you know what I like the only watch I would like. I'd wear that. Audemars, Audemars PJ yeah. with the uh, rubber. Like yeah, a, those are cool. Those are fuck. How much are those? Not cheap. Probably fuck, man. Really? That they, they are very expensive, right? Yeah, the Royal Oaks, the big boy one. That that They're one probably I like sixty right grand. So that one, the the Royal Oak. I like that. Twenty five grand. That's yeah. not for you. 
This one's only fifty nine. Fuck. No. The Royal Oaks like that's the dope. Grand, that's like that's their cool Daytona. Watch. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Schultze, nice. Schultze has one. Oh, he does. Mm-hmm. That's a dope. One. I think he has the all metal one though. You got a new watch, man? Do you have a new watch? Yeah, I haven't seen that before. No, I, I've, I've had this for years. Black one. What is, yeah. What is that? Uh, Bretling. Oh, sweet! Not a big, I love Bretling. Right. Wear a lot of Bretling's dope. Watches. That's yeah. what I want to get. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, you do watches? Oh, yeah. What's that? That's this is a Bretling. Yeah, with the black diamonds. Is that expensive? That's got black diamonds. Yeah, Brian. I don't. I mean, what's for a watch? I don't I mean what's expensive. Over twenty? No. Okay. Half of that. That's expensive. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's still that, expensive. That away. But I, for for <laughs> sta- I can't wear my Rolex on stage because it the clasp when I bend will pop so off. So you have a gold Rolex. So yeah. So I wear this because I need a band. But you don't. That doesn't get. That doesn't sing to you. No, I love those. Yeah. I wouldn't pay sixty grand. I know it's so expensive. That's, yeah, man. that's a fucking lot. I'm just trying to get robbed in fucking. <laughs> exactly. Rolex. Especially yeah. nowadays. Now, yeah. Nowadays. Nowadays. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, I, I don't wear my Rolex outside of Calabasas. No. No. I mean, even in Calabasas, people get robbed. Not really. All right. What is this? This is just a quick last Not one. Not at all. Knock on wood. What's that? Um, so. Just get robbed in Calabasas some way? You just got. No. Uh, well, Encino. Yeah. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> no, nope, you're off. What else you got, Jim? So this plumber found. A, he was working on a toilet inside uh, that guy Olstein's church. He has all and the then, in the world. And then uh, the toilet was, he saw like loose tiles, so he pulled it out, and there's a bunch of envelopes there. And there was $600,000 worth of cash. So I guess someone broke into this church bank Dude. and had that, took out the $600,000 and hid it there. So then the, the plumber that found it just returned it all. He did? Then months later, they gave him twenty thousand dollars as a reward. Out of six hundred grand, I know, but still, that's they twenty grand. Twenty thousand out of, of six hundred, and they give twenty k to like another foundation charity as well. I fucking so 40K. get that money, and I go buy all those watches, and then I turn around and flip. <laughs> they, they probably would have caught homie if he would have actually kept they that money. Have caught it. They, <laughs> wouldn't have caught him. they wouldn't have caught him. That's a that guy has some money. Yeah, those guys are super rich. Oh yeah, he sells uh, out yeah. like Staples ten times over. Yep. Yeah. He's a good speaker. Really? Like, Being mean like, to him, right? Yeah, they're like, you know, you're a piece of shit, right? And he's just smiling. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah John you know. Goodman lost a lot of weight. Holy fuck. Where? Right there. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I like him fat. <laughs> 200 pound weight loss? Yeah. I think good for his health. Yeah, it doesn't look good for him. It doesn't look good, though. His face now is all drawn up. I mean, he's older, too. Yeah. All right, Brian, too. Yeah. No, I know. But he does look healthier there, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, I liked him when he was. I right hear he looks healthier. I liked him portly. Now that's, yeah. Oof. He just looks older there. Yeah, well, maybe I like him. a lot of loose skin. skin pulls. Yeah. Yeah, skin never tightens. Hmm. All right, Jen, is that it, dude? That's it. That's it. All right, kids. Uh, new date just announced. Brian Kellen will be there and Chappelle and special guests. It's Brendan Schaub and friends at the Melrose Improv, Hollywood Improv off Melrose. That's in L.A. December 22nd. One show only at 8 p.m. at the Improv in Hollywood. One show only. That'd be fun. Shop and Friends. And then uh, Dania, Florida. That is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. December 30th through January 1st. Uh, bring the new year with your thick friend. And then, uh, how do you say it, B? Uh, Ra- yeah, Raleigh. 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 Not Raleigh. 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 It's Raleigh, Raleigh. North Carolina. Yep. January 6th through January 8th. Then Charlotte, North Carolina is January 20th through the 22nd. That's it, kids. We got some new Thick Boy Christmas gear dropping next week for those holiday gifts. Bubba baby. Love you guys. What do you got, Chappelle? Uh, uh, Brian Callen's up there. Sorry. No, you're God good. You're good. Uh, I'm, the kid is going to be at live at the 6th Chow House uh, with Sam Tripoli December 15th. That's right. Uh, we got two shows. That's a Wednesday, December 15th at six the six chow house in ventura california get your fucking tickets they're going fast and we will have a special guest uh i'm not gonna say who it is now uh orlando florida uh no i'm already there uh where else am i I'm <laughs> you're oh, already yeah. there kansas city missouri improv december 17 18 19 get yo tickets oklahoma city oklahoma bricktown comedy club i'm ringing in the new year with dove davidoff one of the best to ever fucking do it and then Salt Lake City, Utah, Wise Guys, January 6th through the 8th. And the Buttery Bros have expressed interest in coming. Oh, they're, they're going to be there. Yeah, oh, yeah, they'll be there oh, for yeah. sure. Which and then uh, uh, maybe you, you, you didn't type in my website. I appreciate it. No, it's all good, Chen. No, I'm just kidding. No, you're good. Uh, 
as soon as Chin pulls it up. I go. think I don't. So yeah, I'll be on the road with Brendan uh, that first month of uh, of the year in January, and then in February, February twenty fifth through the twenty sixth, I'll be at the Comedy Club of Kansas City. Uh, other than that, uh, go ahead and you know purchase my merch. The love is tight. New, new merch, still new, waiting for our merch over merch. here. All right, I, I got you. I want the yellow tea, dude. And then I'll get you the yellow tea. What size? XL. You know what? Uh, uh, and then Let's go uh, Let's go also continue to support my podcast, Chappelle's World. Uh, yeah. New episodes every every Thursday, 3 p.m. All right, Boom. kids. Love you. Bye. See you next time.